All right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. 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 Welcome to Japan Fighting Game Publishers Round the Table here, bright and early. So I'm Juna, joined with the producer of the Tekken series. How are you doing, Michael? Good, good. All things considering yourself. Yeah. Nice beard, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. It's getting there. But yeah, it's been a pretty wild year, I guess, from the start. So there haven't been a lot of offline events. There haven't been a lot of opportunities for, you know, devs to get together. Chat with the players. So I believe you, you guys. It was your team that came up with the idea to host right, this. right. So you know, basically, mm -hmm. uh, all of our plans got destroyed yep. because of this whole COVID situation. Yep. Uh, everyone was planning for a certain event, you know, and, we, and I was like, wait a second. I'm what sure everyone is else is doing the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, when we were trying to to pivot to do something else, I, I just said, hey, Harada, why don't you reach out to these guys because okay. he has uh, connections to all of them. Yeah. And we kind of brought them all together, so yeah, it was a lot of work to get everyone on the same stream. Mm -hmm. uh, but hopefully, we'll have something, uh, you know, bright news and yeah. whatever for everyone to look forward to. Yeah. So everyone, thank you for joining us. As you see, we have uh, the producers, developers from a lot of different games here. The idea for this stream is we're going to spend the first hour or so. Uh, we're going to just be discussing some questions that we took from Twitter. Uh, so we didn't pick the questions. I'm sorry. So yep. whatever they discuss, whatever they choose to discuss, we're just going to listen up. Uh, we'll translate what we can. You know, it's going to be rough with, what, 13 people, 11 people, sorry, yeah. talking together. But then the second half of the stream, I know a lot of you guys on Twitter are looking forward to this, but there will be some, some announcements, some surprises. So make sure you stick around for the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, all these publishers from mm -hmm. Japan in the same room. We got SNK, Capcom, yeah. ARC. Uh, we got ourselves as well. Uh, even, uh, you know, Koei Tecmo. Yeah. You got Nishitani, Arika, the, yeah. the father of Street Fighter 2 right here. So obviously it's not normal, Juna and, and Michael. We're mm -hmm. going to have to be on our best behavior yeah, today. So, so. I don't want to get, get canceled here. <laughs> right. Pretty exciting though. Uh -huh. So if you guys aren't familiar, uh, on the bottom left, that's Yesterday Esports. So mm -hmm. he's kind of like our... Our guy uh, in Japan who does the esports stuff, mm -hmm. uh, similar to maybe what Ayano san would be doing for Capcom. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be kind of helping to proceed mm -hmm. the event today. But yeah, right now, guys, are just doing a self introduction. That was pa uh, Pachi. I guess he changed his name to Sekine. He doesn't want to. Yeah, that's his real name. Yeah, but he doesn't use gamer name. Most people even. probably name, know him as Pachi. Mm -hmm. Right. Now we're seeing uh, Nishitani san, you yeah. know, Nishitani, the legend. The legend. People, uh, you know, currently he's uh, created Fighting X Lair, but this guy is known for. Yeah, he made Street Fighter 2, uh, <laughs> the original final fight back here. So this guy is like considered a godfather in the Japanese FGC. And then we got Ola-san mm -hmm. up here in the left uh, with the director Kuroki yep. from SNK. Yeah. So these guys are out in Osaka, right? They're in the west, yep. the west part of Japan. You see that little blue bar in the middle. So they social are, distancing. They, we properly. should we should do that too out here. I have an invisible bar you can't see, right? This is Kuroki-san, the director. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, everyone's saying good morning because out here, guys, it's 9, 9 a.m. 9, right? 9 a.m. I was up at, what, 6.30. I think a lot of these guys were here. Uh, they wanted to make sure that they did this for the kind of overseas audience, all right? That's why we're out here and yeah. getting ready for the, the Western prime time rather than Japan. And some of the people have the fancy backgrounds, mm -hmm. you could tell, but then we got like Yasti Sports mm -hmm. and Harada from their house. This is actually Harada's personal mic that he bought and set up for uh, work from home. <laughs> it looks pretty expensive here. <laughs> here's Matsumoto-san and Nakayama-san from Capcom. You know, yep. I, th I think overseas they're not known as well as some of the other people, but these guys have been uh, kind of creating Street Fighter Five the whole yeah, time, right? Yeah, the development yeah. team, right? Mm -hmm. So this is one of those rare instances we, we get to see them mm -hmm. and uh, hear their thoughts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, so he's saying, right, Nakayama-san has been uh, since Ultra Street Fighter Four, so he's been part of the director of the Street Fighter series. So cool. It's my first time seeing him out yeah. in the, the face here. I believe I've met him during the uh, Street Fighter Cross Second mm -hmm. stuff. Koi Tecmo, Shinbori san, Better Live 6 producer right here. This is kind of, you know, I'm used to seeing, you know, you see Capcom and, and Tekken, they, they meet up and they talk a lot. Yeah. It's the first time I've really seen Koi Tecmo get involved in this kind of group. Yep. I think this is like a cool opportunity now. Shinbori san just mentioned mm -hmm. he's been on the series for 16 years now. That's 16 quite respectable. Years. Wow. 16 years. Yeah, yep. I guess yeah, this, this game's been around a while. I remember I played it first on what Dreamcast. Next year will be my 20th on the Tekken series. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> you got to have a, a party or something like that. <laughs> and again, here's Mochie. So again, guys, still just uh, self-introductions. After this, we will start the discussion. 
What will they discuss? I don't know. I read some of the questions out there. Uh, a lot of, you know, the, there's been, what, like 100 plus different topics yep. that, that they're asking, but they can only do, I think, five, I think five but I don't even know if we'll be able to do five, right? right. They, they have five ready. Uh, they don't know if they're going to be able to get it all, but the good news is that they did say they are considering doing more of these, right? Yeah, if everyone mm -hmm. tunes in, everyone likes it. Yep. And is now we just had Okubo, as you know, uh, our producer for Soul Calibur 6. You said it looked like doing a tie-dye shirt. That might be the Soul Calibur shirt. You it know, looks it like has, it's the Soul it Edge and the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Soul Calibur colors uh obviously Harada. yeah he sorry. said he's blurred out the background mm -hmm. but it's from his house yeah he says he's at home right some people like you see snk is at the uh the studio yeah uh -huh. so we just kind of mentioned you know what i was just talking <laughs> about with you about how this whole thing came <laughs> about <laughs> <laughs> right, so he, they said they were asking people, like, so trying to figure out who who do who do we invite, who do we invite, right? <laughs> who do we invite to this this kind of gathering, right? Because there's so many people involved, so they're kind of uh, cracking jokes here. And people maybe don't get the gravity of the situation, you know, like Western devs, maybe they can just decide themselves, hey, yeah. dude, let's do a stream, but that's not how it's done in Japan. To get mm -hmm. all these companies on board yeah. and, and to have uh, out here, right? them allow it, mm -hmm. this is, you know, really something mm -hmm. special. And then Yasuda, he's going to be the one of the MCs of the event, yeah. right, down here. Along on with the, on the Fuhi-san, I yeah. believe, as well, right? Yeah, Fuhi is the one that you hear talking right now. Cool. So yeah, self-introductions are over, and they're going to show up the time schedule right now, so let's see. So from 9.15... We got the roundtable discussion, right? Mm -hmm. And he's just explaining mm -hmm. what uh, Juna said about uh, we gathered these on Twitter uh, beforehand. Mm -hmm. And then from 10 is the announcements. So I got, we had rehearsal last night. <laughs> I got spoiled on some of them. But all I'll say is definitely stick around and definitely get on Twitter. And when this is over, people are going to go crazy. But this stuff's been locked down, you know. I, yeah. We haven't even seen a lot yeah, of it, right? I, I got spoiled yesterday. I was like, oh. <laughs> just that one. Yeah. But. All right, so I think a little bit, uh, you know, it's supposed to start at 15, but a little bit early. They're going to uh, start the talk show. Okay. So they're taking the questions off Twitter. So now it seems like we're proceeding. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everybody, for the self-introductions. They said they took some of the questions from English as well. Yep. Yeah, so yep, yep. it's not just Japanese questions. Some of you guys from overseas get your questions involved in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Yasuda, I don't know. You guys can't tell probably, but he's got this like really thick uh, Kansai yeah. dialect. <laughs> mm -hmm. The other thing that they, they also mentioned uh, earlier is that, you know, since they're... Mike also kind of brought it up, is that there's all these different companies, right? So uh, if one company is okay with something, but another company is not, they can't really discuss this kind of thing, yeah. you know? So we have to find a topic that everybody involved can discuss and share their opinions on. Uh, so that's what he's mentioning. We're trying to decide which questions to pick here. Yeah, I mean, it really is so much going mm -hmm. into coordinating all of this, so including the questions and what they're going to yeah. talk about. We are used to the, you know, the West a little bit more wild, you know, you get the yeah. a little bit more, like, free to, to speak here, but it's, it's still quite strict out here. But, you know, I did feel that they they picked some really fair questions yeah, yeah. this time, so we'll, we'll, we'll see. Obviously, only five, so not every question that people want. I know there's some big ones that people really want that might not get touched on this one, but hopefully, again, if you guys can keep the, you know, the reception, say, I like this kind of content, please bring us more, they can do it again and maybe hit them up. But anyway, here we go. They said each question they're going to do about, like, eight, eight minutes or so they're going to discuss. Yep. We don't have a raising hand button either, yeah. so we'll, ha we'll see how this works, right? So now he's okay. saying, yeah, there we go, the English, right? Selection of roster yeah. characters. So you, they're going to start with Capcom, but you've experienced with this as well, right? Oh, yeah, You've definitely. been involved with picking some characters? Uh, yeah, and we've we've kind of, Harad and I have been pretty vocal about mm -hmm. that. comes up on Comic-Con panels, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So now I just talk about yeah. listening to the uh, user feedback, user feedback right? but also thinking about their user uh, base mm -hmm. and try to kind of discern what kind of taste they would like. 
Do you think Karada's gonna turn into something? Yeah. Do you think Karada's gonna turn into something? Yeah. Do you think Karada's gonna turn into something? Yeah. Do you think Karada's gonna turn into something? Yeah. Do you think Karada's gonna turn into something? Yeah. Do you think Karada's gonna turn into something? Yeah. Do you think Karada's gonna turn into something? Yeah. Do you think Karada's gonna turn into something? Yeah. Do you think Karada's gonna turn into something? Yeah. Do you think Karada's gonna turn into something? Yeah. Do you think Karada's gonna turn into something? Yeah. Do you think Karada's gonna turn into something? Yeah. Do you think Karada's gonna turn into something? Yeah. Do you think Karada's gonna turn into something? Yeah. Do you think Karada's gonna turn into something? Yeah. Do you think Karada's gonna turn into something? Yeah. Do you think Karada's Yeah, so the, the one thing about Street Fighter that he's mentioning that compared to some other games is that Street Fighter's been around for, I don't know, 30 plus years? Yes, yes. So they have a lot, of, like, maybe. Yeah, a lot of very classic, very iconic characters there. A whole, a large pool mm -hmm. that they have to choose from, right? Mm -hmm. So they're talking about how Street Fighter doesn't just take, you know, classic characters, but also characters from uh, other other series in, in the Capcom, you know, like Final Fight and things like that. Even now, he's touched on something we also mm -hmm. uh, take into consideration, and that's the martial art mm -hmm. and also, you know, the nationality of the character. Yeah. I know Harada's talked about that a lot, right? You want to make sure the character is liked in that country, but also does it does justice, right? right. I know with Shaheen, again, he talked a lot about it. And like us as well, he was talking about trying to uh, not have as many characters in the mm -hmm. same vein yeah, to, yeah. to have a lot of variety there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then other characters that might uh, be a good format to, to try new yeah, mechanics try new or new game ideas, plan right? stuff. So like, let's let's try and have the development team, you know, come up with new ideas, new mechanics, and keep pushing the genre forward here. Mm. Now he's yeah. talking about his, uh, Street Fighter is close mm -hmm. to the real world. I think it's all about locations, right? Yeah, he's, he's saying too that Street Fighter, you know, every game is different. So you have, you know, like Arxis games, which are very anime, very like kind of fantasy inspired. But Street Fighter is very close to kind of reality. You know, even though they're doing fireballs and everything, you know, it kind of takes place in the real world. So yeah, they so have, wor yeah. world warriors, yeah. and you had that map where the airplane yeah. kind of goes to a different location in between fights, right? So when they're deciding characters, they got to try and keep a character that's a little bit more realistic you know rather than like we're not going to put it even though they have Blanca but like we're not going to throw like a dinosaur man out there <laughs> who's talking now so now who do we have talking Just put your hand it uh, must be Fuhi if Fuhi's talking okay I guess. Yeah, yeah. we don't see anyone <laughs> I was like so. raise your hand dude <laughs> you talk about the game system changes quite uh, drastically from different installments mm -hmm. And so, mm. also with the the planned system for whatever installment they're working on, yeah. which characters might blend well with Yeah, that. right. So, like, Street Fighter V has its own game design. So maybe you might want your favorite character from an older Street Fighter. They're saying that character might not fit with the Street Fighter V game design, and they don't want to change him so much. So That's, it, yeah. it, like they're saying, it's mm -hmm. like one of the things they yeah, consider yeah. in, Again, in regards to many, right? More and more and more. What I want to know is how much does Twitter get involved? Because whenever I see these guys on Twitter, they're asking, Asking, like, give me this, give me that, give me this, give me that. Do you have any insight? How, how often do you guys listen to the Twitter monsters? Rod and I are probably on one end of the spectrum where, you know, we're quite in tune with what they're saying. Mm -hmm. um, Okobasan may be somewhat like that. I'm not sure about the, uh, the other they producers. You know, they just said the really users, right? I want to hear social media. Mm -hmm. And obviously, um, there's differences in how much English mm -hmm. that uh, each of these producers can comprehend mm -hmm. directly as well, right? Harada being being uh, an MMORPG guy himself, playing with foreign players for a long time, uh, understands quite a bit of English, actually. And now he's talking, uh, Rada just mentioned about he believes Street Fighter, uh, the opinions differ depending on which installment yeah. the, that player base the game, got into the, the, the series, The game is right? so old, right? So people that were with the original, people that started with five, right? They might have different ideas of what they think is cool or what kind of character should be in the game. So he's just saying, like, um, if you do a, a poll to ask opinions mm -hmm. about characters, it's kind of hard to see because you don't know which player mm -hmm. uh, generation that is, right? Yeah, and the other thing, too, is it's going to be, you know, younger players, right? Yeah. Usually the younger players, the guys more socially uh, connected yeah. on social media and the internet. Those guys are going to match on the poll, right? The old men don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Another thing he's mentioned is it's kind of funny. We see this a lot where you'll get a particular character that's like, look, stands out on the polls uh -huh. online, right? Yeah. But then if you actually release it, it's not no as well compared to the other characters sales-wise, right? Like <laughs> Yeah, I won't mention names. <laughs> and then Matsumoto-san is also mentioning how we kind of think, too, that you take it as one ingredient, mm -hmm. right, to your decision. Yeah. And if it matches up to what you perceive the, the player race wants, mm -hmm. then it's just one, like, thing to kind of test that theory. But it's not, like, the deciding factor yeah. itself. 
And Rad also yeah. explaining, as we often say for our title, we take uh, user opinions, but we also take the background yeah. data, uh, usage, etc. There's, there's a, this is a hard question, right? Because there's no answer, right? There's, right? there's a trillion different things that come in there. I wonder if we're going to hear from the other producers as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hopefully they, they, they can they, jump in. You yeah. know, it's kind of hard to grab the mic from Harada mm -hmm. <laughs> sometimes, right? <laughs> Now he's talking about, yeah. uh, this is another topic we often touch on, that um, player usage yeah. and uh, popularity, popularity is not necessarily the same mm. thing, right? So they're, they're also talking, he, he mentioned like uh, how how strong they are too, right? So right. he's like, some characters, because they're, they're strong, strong in the game, used more yeah, often, they'll right? get used more often. It doesn't mean they're popular, right? right. It's just more people are going to play that character because, you know, they have a very high win percentage there. Mm. So gathering like concrete data is very, very difficult is what they're saying. Uh, he's talking about Shake, the Salmon, when we had our poll for when what kind of player, uh, maybe two years ago. Uh -huh. This is like something I heard when I first joined mm -hmm. the team, but way long ago, they had uh, a Salmon character. Salmon the fish? He was bouncing on the uh -huh. stage, right? Okay. <laughs> and he, he got... You know, uh, he didn't make the final cut way back when, but uh, Harada put it in just, just to see, right? Mm -hmm. And also, there was a data point in the game that when someone, uh, they reverse engineered and they found the data they found for the it, right? So he's like, maybe it's not a good idea yeah. for Tekken maybe, to have Shaka in there. Maybe I shouldn't put him maybe in a 2D, 2D fighting game. game. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have a fish in a 2D fighting game here. There's a Prey Manus as well. Yeah. I mean, you guys put it in dinosaurs and fighting kangaroos, right? <laughs> I think it's not, not too too weird. <laughs> so he's like, how, how is it going to fight? Like, how, how are we going to make a fish Tail fight? Slap, yeah. right? How are we going to make a fish fight, Rod is saying, in like a 2D fighting game? People are complaining about Zafina not being able to hear her, right? Imagine a fish lying on the ground. <laughs> it's going to have to stomp, stomp or use Paul's like down punch, People complain about a lot right? of stuff, man. I feel now it's not a time for Don't bring back the salmon. We don't need it. Nah, him. no we salmon, don't please. <laughs> I'm trying to have a peaceful Twitter account at mm -hmm. the moment. So now he's going to ask. So Cap <laughs> Capcom. It's kind of hard to answer yeah. after that, right? Because Capcom gave you like every every possible answer. <laughs> now he's asking the other people, what do you guys think? They're going to say the same. Yeah, yeah. they're all like, yeah, it's about the same. So, oh, there you go. They mentioned, uh, so Koi Tecmo was a little bit, they said, you know, we take everything that Capcom said, but there's also what we want to make, right? They, they said characters that we want to make, as well as characters that fit in the story, like we design them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then after they come up with the idea of the base, you know, you discuss with the marketing team is like, what kind of character should we make actually? Like, what would be good for the game? Setting, right? Yeah, where yeah. should they come from? What country? So that, that's kind of like a little bit reverse of what I thought, right? They make the character first, then kind of the design and the story after. I thought it'd be kind of the opposite, but marketing is important. Now they're talking about hold? <laughs> Who is this talking at the moment? Shinbori is... Oh, is still, right? Yeah. Who? 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 who, who? They're talking about a character. Yeah, I didn't catch that one. He was talking about a character before uh, that he was forced to, to cosplay as? I'm not sure. Yeah, we gotta, we're in, we gotta be careful here. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, if you're talking about dead or alive, right? Dead or alive. It's all it's about like, the cute girls, yeah, right? He's like, yeah. what kind of characters do you want? He's like, well, dead or alive series, it's all about the girls. Cute girls like there is what everybody wants. He knows his audience, I guess. The tension. Mm. Come on. Okay. that was around Virtua yeah. 5. Mm. During oh. that time. Ah. Yeah. And then he was thinking, you know, Dead or Alive 5 yeah. at, at the same they time. They both had let's, five, so they had a little bit of competition. Let's do something cool together, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, because... And he also, uh, they... They had the Shiranui Mai and uh, from SNK, Kula from yeah. SNK as well. And then uh, uh, Dead or Alive 5, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was Akira, right? I think they had yeah. Akira from Virtua Fighter. So that's how they decided on the guest character, was like, right. let's work together and also have like a little bit of competitive uh, rivalry here. 
So yeah, they gotta be strong and cute. Mm -hmm. That's their their uh, one of their criteria, right? <laughs> he's, he's like, if you make it like a, any, your character's gonna take in his guest characters by the DOA series here. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's uh, Harada's mission. SNK has got you know very long running franchise as well. You must have lots of requests, mm -hmm. especially from the the China area, yeah, East Asia. Yeah, it's like Tekken too, like these legacy series. I mean, yeah. basically yeah. every game here is like twenty plus Pretty years, much. so they all have really long history, a lot of different characters and franchises in there. Mm -hmm. Mm. And trying to get the gist of it, it seems like Oda-san saying that they have so many, yeah, they have so different many franchises already. that they're able to fit yeah. a lot of these requests mm -hmm. into at least one of them, right? And they say what the fans want, right? It's like we have so many like IPs ready to go. It's like we listen to the fans and then throw them in here. Oh, he's talking about yeah. Shiki at the yeah. moment. One of my favorites. Mm. Sam Show, right? Yeah, she's very, very popular. <laughs> ah, so I, I think it's saying, and this is another important topic that when you look at the lineup, mm -hmm. it's a bunch of older Old men, men right? characters, yeah. right? Sam Show didn't have any cute girls on release. Right, and you got to think of yeah. balance in that regard as well. They're talking about Wanfu yeah, in, in is that the, particular, the big, right? Uh, the Chinese monk guy. With the big sword, right? I no, believe. he's got the big pillar. He's ah, got the pillar, pillar, that's yeah. right, he's in like the beats. He's like the grappler there, yeah. So he's like, man, our lineup is all just dudes. It's old dudes, man. We got to get some cute girls in there. So that's kind of what Capcom mentioned too about balancing your roster and seeing like what you needed here. That's always tough for us too, especially you know because the player base is quite divided on yeah. whether they want really cute girls or they want more realistic yeah. buff fighters. You know, it's hard to please everyone that that aspect. Mm. So uh, is, this, is this Daisuke at the moment? Yeah, Lord Daisuke, Daisuke Bless. But he's saying the first thing they decide is how the many characters, characters, right? Like how many characters are gonna be in the game, and then after you have that kind of limitation then you can decide who right. and, like what type and everything yeah. so again he's talking about the, the same thing between, yeah, yeah the, the same thing that snk mentioned exactly. he's like yeah you got to make sure it's not just all old dudes and you got to get some some different uh archetypes and stuff in there ah uh, this is a good mm -hmm. topic too he's saying you really have to think about the looks of the character mm -hmm. and they're popular on that yeah. and then the popular the play styles yeah because they're not necessarily yeah. you know one and the same he also mentioned uh, the ease of play too right you don't you can't have like 10 super duper technical difficult to play characters right you have to have some that are technical some are a little bit easier to play like the ease of use of the cast here it's a very good topic and we're going to spend the whole time on this maybe <laughs> yeah, right? no they, they have on the schedule they have a, they're going to cut it they said they're just going to talk and then they're going to cut it down mm. So yeah, all those uh, factors that they're taking in, uh, and then the new ideas that they have for a new character and how that yeah. blends into the existing roster, right? right? So we have to just take the opinions, and they have to be aware when they decide all the new stuff in here. Uh, I think I, now I think, I think yes they're like, yes, yes, oh, come on, you gotta. Yeah. Yes is yeah. being really soft here, saying uh, we should probably move on to the next to topic, right? Yeah, that's yes, it is job is to stop. Next question. It's tough though. I mean, I'm glad I'm not him. I mean, if it's Rado or Oko, yeah. we can just be like, hey, come on, let's go, but you can't just be like that with other <laughs> publishers, right? The future cross play. Cross play. Oh, this is one Harada. of those difficult ones. Well, what does he got here? What? Ah, this is, uh, this is Boss. <laughs> you don't know who this is? No, who is it? Hayashi-san, from Team Ninja, the leader. Oh, word? Yeah, yeah, Hayashi-san. <laughs> what happened? He quit? <laughs> what? He's saying about to keep uh, the live operations of a certain game mm -hmm. going? I'm not sure which one. I didn't catch it. And then he said, well, there's budgeting and all yeah, that. And Harada we'll said, oh, I'll take care of the budgeting. Yeah. I don't know what he meant by that. <laughs> but Shinbori said, yeah, Shinbori's like, if this, uh, this mode's totally and said stop stop cut no <laughs> Shinbori is like if you got the budget we'll do it oh this is the Japanese thing yeah. right that 
So that guy was uh, Koi Tecmo's boss? Hayasan, <laughs> he's the team leader for Team Ninja. Oh, okay. And he was probably, the, I think, the producer on like previous mm -hmm. DOA titles, but you know, like often happens, he got a uh, higher up position, so now he's in, in charge of the whole team, I believe. All right, so now they're talking about the te technical difficulties of crossplay. Um, not that hard, maybe, because uh, it's peer to peer. Yeah. And it's not like a dedicated server in most, most instances. He was saying, like, every each fighting game has different ways they connect online, too. So he's saying, everyone, besides Capcom, but hold on. So he's saying it's not really a technical barrier. Yeah. I'm kind of curious to see what he's going to say from here. He's talking about PS3 and Xbox One error. Uh, he made a PowerPoint presentation mm -hmm. saying he wants to do crossplay and approach the uh, first parties. Yeah. Right. Because you know mobile titles yeah, and all these were pretty it, yeah. popular at the time, and to uh, compete with them, he wants to open up the platform. But he said the first parties were. They would say to him, "Yeah, yeah. well, we want to do that, it." That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very. Like Phil Spencer from Xbox, yeah. he was mentioned by name. Was like, "Yeah, sure, man, let's do it." I think it's gonna be a sad ending here. And you know, we're open about it. We want to do it. And he said the Sony person, point Chain. of contact changed, yeah. but he was like, yeah, we would like let's to, do it. To, let's do to discuss it. it. Yeah. Discuss it. Yeah. So, yeah. They, they're all sounding very kind of receptive of the yeah, idea, exactly. but it sounds like it's going <laughs> to... But there's a lot mm. of things that you have to overcome, mm -hmm. especially like a free-to-play game where you have a, a huge uh, audience there. Yep. A lot of times we see them open up the, the gates to that crossplay. But for package, like a, a download version of a game? Mm -hmm. So, what I'm hearing is that, you know, crossplay has like the barriers and everything, but if you, like the free to play games are naturally going to have a much higher user base than a games like this that you have to pay and you have to buy here. So I think it costs money, right? It might be expensive for the first party people to have that cross-play server right here or allow it from the other uh, the other games. So yeah, it's not, like you mentioned earlier, it's not a technical issue so much. It's more like the, the first party, the... I think this one's more important, what he's talking about now mm -hmm. is, um, you know, each platform has their own ID, the PSN ID, yeah. the uh, XLive ID. There's another one, too. And to connect them, there's a lot of things you have to do. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, can't believe he's going into this much detail, yeah. but he's talking about you have a central server where you've got to take, like, if I'm on PSN and mm -hmm. you're on XLive, uh, we have to go to some server outside, yeah. and they give us an ID that, that isn't matched. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not tied to either of those platforms, and you kind of tie the mm -hmm. XLive ID to that ID and mm -hmm. my PSN to that ID. And so, like, the server infrastructure yeah. and the, the security protocols and stuff like that. Yeah, he definitely he keeps he keeps kind of saying, like, we can do it. Like, I, I think he's, the, the underlying message is, like, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. It's, it's the first party, you know, it's the, the consoles, the platform companies here. They have the difficulties that kind of prevent this. So he's talking about maybe the next gen? At least from the player's perspective, that yeah. everyone's going to think, well, Come obviously on. you can like, do it, right? Yeah, like other games do it. Why can't we do it? So he realized the expectation is going to be quite high. Mm. Yeah, right. So it's, this is not just, even though it's Harada talking about Tekken, this is not just a Tekken issue, right? A lot of games are, are like this. A lot of fighting games, a lot of the other companies have the same problems. Mm. Mm. So he's saying he's going to try to approach the uh, first party yeah. a bit more on this topic. Yeah, so earlier so, uh, on when they, he gave that long speech, right, he basically was saying he already tried, like, the presentation, he went to everybody, everyone sounded like, yeah, let's do it, let's do it, but nothing actually happened, and then There's it's a lot difficult. of details to actually yeah. figure out when you So he says he, he's going to keep going. He Crossplay is still uh, an important idea here for Harada.
So he's going to keep going. Matsumoto's on Capcom now. Talking about his thoughts on it. He's he says he also thinks it's, it's pretty, very important. Pretty important, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Ishibatari san also mm -hmm. saying, obviously, from the publisher's uh, standpoint, it's not the best to have our audiences split. Yeah, they, they definitely either. want cross play because that keeps all the users together. But what he mentioned is that there's, there's the devices? technical, right? Techn yeah. You know, like a Switch versus a PlayStation right. 4, they have different technical aspects. So, how are you going to have a game? What are you going to do to make. The game playable across each platform there. And it's about even the peripherals, like maybe on certain platforms yeah. you don't have as many arcade sticks, mm -hmm. etc. So there's a lot of things uh, to actually work out. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. Like if you're going to do a crossplay game, do you design the game for one system and then just try and add it on, or from the start do you design a game that's going to be, you know, equal and easy to play uh, across all platforms there? And even Pachi is talking mm -hmm. about. Because of the way you input on each device, mm -hmm. they would have to take that into account. Um, the way that the game might feel yeah. different I mean, among platforms, and you know, if that's something mm -hmm. that uh, it's probably not desirable in a yeah. fighting game, right? Yeah. Pachi, like they're they're all saying like Daisuke and Pachi both said, yeah, this is something we definitely want to do. Everybody, of course, we want crossplay, but it's not that simple, right? It's not. So you can tell here that simple. you know there's a lot of thought being yeah. put into it. It's not that they just like yeah, yeah. whatever, we don't want to do it. Yeah, yeah. There's still a lot of little hurdles here to get to get good crossplay. So you're just saying like FPS is you have many different um, input mm -hmm. configurations, I guess yeah, you yeah. say, right? And maybe that's kind of one way to work around for, for some of these problems, to provide more of those for fighting mm -hmm. games. Mm -hmm. But then, uh, you know, figuring out those fine details is something yeah. that takes a lot of time as well. <laughs> but yeah, right when, uh, oh, it looks yeah, like he's going to get cut, cut off, off with time, but Apache again, uh, he said this is definitely something we want to do. Just again, there's still a lot of hurdles, so don't expect it anytime soon, guys. But the devs are thinking about cross-play yeah. stuff. And yes, it is. Just talking about that leads in pretty quite well to the next one. Yeah, because he was just Thoughts mentioning. about arcade controllers, right? <laughs> about arcade controllers. What is this going to be about? Yeah, I'm kind of curious as well. Arcade controls good or bad? Is this is the, the story? I mean, I think they mean like arcade sticks, right? Mm -hmm. like yeah. Fight sticks. So this is Oda-san. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I guess this is very... Yeah. This is one of the kind of legacy yeah. things of fighting games, is this this culture of fight sticks, right? Yeah. So he's saying too that he, you know, because the old, some of the old SNK games came very, very difficult, you know, very high execution. Back in the day, it used to be like you have to use an arcade stick. But he's talking about that's kind of like a legacy thought, the culture of arcade sticks. So. But I think. What he's trying to convey though mm -hmm. is it's he sees it as something that he would like to kind of uh, convey to later mm -hmm. generations, right? To kind of preserve that mm -hmm. arcade culture, right? It's definitely phasing out a bit. And he's talking about. So the He's talking about, you know, yeah. we got to do driver updates and all that on our side to make sure they all work. But then even uh, he's seen mentioning a decline in, in uh, manufacturing yeah, sticks. Yeah, manufacturers are going down as well. Yeah. And he said we're ending that area. So he's saying we're entering the era where, I mean, we've already been in an era, I think. But, you know, <laughs> he wants to tell you something. But he's like we're entering the era with, uh, you know, maybe arcades are so, arcade controllers are slowly getting phased out. Now Harada says, Nishitani, say something. All right, Nishitani, go ahead. He's like, yeah, I got this. <laughs> He's got a print out for everyone, huh? He's good. Nishitani san is just saying he has to have arcade controller. Because, mm. you know, he kind of grew up yeah. in the, the arcades. Season, yeah. 
But he's saying that the uh, newer generations, yeah. they're starting off on controllers or mm -hmm. gamepads, right? And fighting games have pretty uh, mm -hmm. complex commands, but mm -hmm. these newer generations are able to do it quite well on a yeah. gamepad. Right, he said because he's, he's OG. He, that's, that, that's a very common like mindset from back in the day. It was like, you can only do these complex inputs on the arcade pad, but he's surprised, right? He's like, the yeah. new guys, they're doing it just fine on pad. He's saying like all the guys mm -hmm. here, you know, close to 40 or mm -hmm. over, so... They all probably use arcade mm -hmm. controllers, but uh, you know the most of the player base is shifting towards mm -hmm. gamepads now, and they seem to be doing quite well. So mm -hmm. maybe it's it's not going to be a big problem. Yeah. He feels that maybe half is on gamepads yeah. at the moment. He said when you got to tournament, you see you see everyone using arcade sticks. You might have that idea, but he said he feels like half people are on pads, and then Harada said more than half. Right. right. I've even noticed that with yeah. Tekken, you know, people. Uh, when we were having arcade-only mm -hmm. tournaments, uh, some people couldn't actually join, especially a lot of the foreign oh, yeah, players, yeah. because they could only play on pad, right? That, that happened a lot for the the Japanese Invitational tournaments, yep. right? You'd qualify in the States, but the guy qualified can only play on pad, and then it's like, well, now what do we do? I think we even provided like a USB ports mm -hmm. on a special uh, version of the mm -hmm. arcade cabinet for one or two of them. <laughs> Now uh, he's just asking about ARC. He feels that uh, their player base is probably a higher percentage of arcade controllers, maybe. And then we got uh, Daisuke san here. Yeah, he's saying like, he's part of that generation yeah, of arcade. He said, "I'm not as old. I'm not as old as is Nishitani, but he's from the arcade stick generation." Yeah. I mean, it's like, especially repeat inputs mm -hmm. of a button. Mm. Yeah, because they're talking about, you know, arcades have the double tap. That's very right. famous that you couldn't do in old games. Or that was kind of necessary in old games. But right. new games, you don't really need it that much. Mm. <laughs> Now you're saying that uh, the newer generations, are, mm -hmm. especially in the team, you're mm -hmm. saying maybe we should come up with new specs that yeah. kind of make more use of the gamepads and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then he's talking about, uh, I think that kind of like the rapid yeah, button presses and things like execution, that. execution, yeah. It makes you feel more immersed yeah, in the yeah, game you physically. Get, you get more energetic, right? You, you feel like, I'm really going in here. Right. That's a good point. And Pachi says he often conflicts with uh, Daisuke san on that one. He likes he likes actually complex yeah, inputs. He likes the difficult inputs. So that's a mm -hmm. merit of the arcade controllers. But he wants to have a battle system that doesn't, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, skew towards either. Yeah. either uh, you don't pad need or, a pad. You don't stick. need a stick. He's, they want to make a game that you don't even think about it. Mm -hmm. We're, we're shifting towards uh, the eSports era. So your pad or your controller is similar to like your, your tool if you're, you're an athlete, right? Like a bat or your racket or whatever. You think that's kind of interesting about the possibilities that uh, mm -hmm. might come with that. Uh -oh. And he's talking like maybe even you should have different formats. I like disagree with that. <laughs> one, uh, one allows like you know anything with your tool, but yeah. we we know all yeah. about this, right? The sentiment. He was talking about you know maybe it'd be cool to have different rules. Like you can even have like modded one is more arcade limited, sticks. Right? Yeah, yeah, like you have arcade modded arcade sticks. If you press this one button, like, it'll do like a very complex command. Like have a tournament just that allows that. Have a different tournament that doesn't. No, oh, he brought up Morisan yeah, Mori. here. <laughs> They're like, he said he only plays on pad, right? He's like, I don't have an image. He, play, he plays on pad. Right? He doesn't, right? And they mentioned, yeah, his arcade stick. He said he's dropped his. <laughs> he's seen Morisan drop the arcade stick from his, his lap knees, several right? times. Playing, yeah. on, playing on his lap, he dropped it. Maybe he's not a pro. <laughs> How come Mori san's not here? I'm glad he was able to participate in some way, though. Mori san's a super cool dude. 
<笑>まあ結構その一緒に渡りだったり自分だったり森だったりとまあとかうちのスタッフで<笑>まあ今回はこういう方ですね。<笑>ます<笑>ます<笑>ます<笑>圧がすごいですね。He's trying to have a, a serious discussion and Harada's like <laughs> trolling him heavy. <laughs> you see p a j i s trying not to look at the screen or he doesn't make eye contact with his boss there. <laughs> Reminds me of that Japanese TV program where you can't laugh and if you do yeah, they yeah, kick yeah. you in the behind, right? <laughs> Yasu is asking Harada, like, how many photos do you have? Like, how many photos do you have ready to go, Harada? He said he doesn't have everyone. <laughs> But in case the SNK connection fails, He's got this as a backup. Yesterday during rehearsal, <laughs> there was a joke where they were using Wi Fi. Like, some of the guys were using Wi Fi, so Harada yelled at everybody. He was like, supposed to be fighting you against Wi Fi. Why are you going to be using Wi Fi? What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> so he's like, yeah, SNK, in case their Wi Fi goes down again, we have this. So now we're going to the next, next one. Question. Is this everybody wants? Oh, okay. Feature、uh, user experience of fighting games. What, is, what does this mean? Those are hard questions. Let's see. It's pretty open ended, yeah, yeah, right? right? This is again、uh, Daisuke san, I believe, right? Oh, there he is. Yeah, sorry. I was looking, I was like, who's talking? <laughs> So、he's talking about other game genres, maybe the rules don't change that much, but fighting games change、uh, their game systems quite often.、Mm -hmm. uh, users ex expect this to occur you know, every three years, maybe every five at the most.、Mm -hmm. So, what are some new possibilities? Maybe, like,、yeah. how does AI maybe affect it? Maybe there's some kind of、yeah. interesting possibilities there. He said also, like, up until now, we just kept doing the same thing over and over and over again for fighting game. So he thinks rather than, you know, rather than、uh, Ishitari coming up with ideas for the future by himself, it's like this is the value of this kind of group discussion. discussion.、Right? So let's have everybody. What do you think we can do in the future? But it's kind of like poker, right?、Yeah. It's like, do you really、uh, want to give yeah, away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you want to tell me? Tell me your idea. Ono san. Oh, Ono san is here as well. Where's the Blanca though? Oh, he、They、is the Blanca. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> And this is、uh, Mochi san gonna give us his opinion. He believes matching, of course, right? A better experience there. But he's not from a development background. Saying that's kind of an important、Matching、element that you have online, to. He's talking about online get, right, matchmaking.、Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. If, if that experience isn't tight, then、uh, you'll lose your player base、mm -hmm. over time. So he believes everyone is、uh, trying their best to try to improve that aspect,、mm -hmm. especially.、Uh, currently, you know, we, we have、uh, rank is one way that we divide、yeah. the players、uh, based on their skill, whether that's a certain rank、mm -hmm. or whether it's a point attribute. But you know, which one is best? That's kind of something open for discussion, right? So, yeah, do you want to cut, you want to cut people up by ranks or by experience, like point system? So, the point system you can just kind of grind, right? You don't have to be that good. You can just kind of grind and go up here. They keep mentioning AI, though. Is this what they're, they're talking about CPU? Could this be something? Well, I think the concept is something、mm -hmm. we come up with as well. How to decide. A perfect AI character、mm -hmm. is going to be the most fun experience,、mm -hmm. probably,、uh, if you don't know it's AI.、Mm -hmm. Because it would be perfectly at your level where、mm -hmm. you, know, you feel like you're, you're growing, having a good time. So、uh, I think Karada's kind of touched on that. that I think he's talking on the, the point and the rank.、Mm -hmm. No, no, he is talking about AI. He said he's talked to IBM people before about this、uh, AI and maybe improvement on、uh, player experience <laughs> as a result. <laughs> so, taking all the different data, feeding the AI program, and. And、uh, the IBM guy said, you know, if you have enough data points,、mm -hmm. maybe、uh, that opens up the possibilities even more、mm -hmm. for something. But、uh, the real time, the need for real time、uh, data and everything, and to, to compute it is, is kind of, you know, on, online. 
is one of the big hurdles in, in doing that because you have to get the data from both sides the CPU or whatever mm -hmm. you're using has to compute all that mm -hmm. and then output it uh, in real time <laughs> right and that's something that's, it's kind of hard to, to see how uh, to actually implement it yeah. at so, this point at you know currently yeah he mentioned the person he talked to said there's not a lot of companies out that are working on this right now so right now it's difficult but he's like in the future this could be something that comes out who we got now Shimburi now Shimburi -san, right oh and they say no maybe Mochi san was talking more about how to more effectively match people match using people, AI. Yeah. That's kind of an interesting idea, yeah. Hmm. And it's just, you know, kind of what I touched on, that mm -hmm. if you had an AI opponent that maybe you don't know it's AI, uh, if you're for someone who just player, started yeah. out, if you're and they just barely player, let you yeah. in, and you kind of feel good about your experience. I mean, other games too, you know, you like you fight bots and stuff. And, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, you fight a bot If someone drops level, out, like, yeah, partway or something come in, like yeah. that, or I mean, not enough players. Every, every, you know, FPS games have it, mobiles have it. <laughs> Fighting games don't have that yet. But yeah, developing that would be hard. Because right now, still, you know, in fighting game CPU, is, is still doesn't really feel too. It's not. Doesn't feel like fighting a, a person. Perfect replacement yeah. for a person, yeah. Mm. So now we're saying that mm. it has to feel really human. Yeah, that's that's uh, what the I just mentioned, right? When you fight a computer yeah. now, it feels like they're just doing random things, right? They're just doing random moves and stuff. Right. He said, Hachin, he said, I think? Yeah, in 2008, he made an online game in China, and... Oh, but uh, the player base soon realized it was, was AI and not yeah, an yeah, opponent. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was a long time ago, right? Yeah. Mm. But uh, the, the feedback from the players wasn't that great on that. Because people really want to defeat a uh, real human, Yeah, you want right? to feel not like you beat a person, right? You feel like you want it. So are these guys, they're coming out and saying that they're going to lie to the player base? Is this what they're coming out and saying? That in the future, you're not going to know if you're fighting? It sounds like a... Could be, like but... Like some <laughs> I guess it depends future. on how you enjoy the game, right? Mm -hmm. If it has to be a human opponent, or if you just want a really exciting match, I guess it depends on your player expectation, right? In my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. But not what they're saying at the moment. What they are saying overall, though, is a really important point is, you know, if you go back to, it's not just about AI and stuff, but it's about always having an opponent to fight, right? That's that's the issue, is that right now, if you're a new player, you might go on, there's no one you, for you to fight, because everyone's either, they moved on, or they're too high level for you. So that's what this is coming out. I think Okobo is just going back to the matching again, right? Yeah. Saying it's quite different depending on what platform you're on. And then he's touching on AI now. Uh, they're saying that debugging. He's like, if they can keep keep making uh, kind of advancements and progressions around like the game, fighting game, debugging area, then he's like, maybe, you know, having a good AI computer in the future could definitely be something. It's kind of hard to to get the the point of what he's saying, but I think he's saying uh, maybe I don't know if it's debugging to like take out uh, bugs rather, but more I think he's trying to say tuning, perhaps. Yeah, like tuning the the AI and just trying to make it so it feels that you know even if it's the strongest character and you beat him really easy, it's like that doesn't feel good. Like you, it's about keeping that level that's close. That like it's supposed to be a, a competitive match. Oh. Harada's saying we have some people on our team that you might think they're AI the way they play. They, they always, he's like, they always do the same combo, the same punish, the same everything. Yeah, like, yeah. dude. This is dude SDZ yeah. I play often, and I feel that way. Sometimes. I mean, Tekken, Tekken is like that, right? That game is a lot of. There's a lot of like, if you play perfectly, it's like every time you block this, you're gonna do that punish. Right? It's a very calculated game. Yeah, you have some players that try to optimize mm -hmm. it heavily, mm -hmm. but some people just throw away yeah. like a 14 frame or whatever, right? They'll just be like, I'm going to do only a 10 mm -hmm. and, you know, 12 and a 15 or whatever. Yes, though, now? I wonder what he's got to say. He's like, they... 
Ah, uh, okay. What he's saying is kind of something I felt in real martial arts. He's mm. saying like, if you, the higher up you get, you just yeah. don't do you can't attacks do anything. yourself, right? Yeah. You wait for yeah. your opponent and then you punish them or whatever. Yeah. Which is kind of like what real martial arts are. You leave yourself yeah. open if you do an attack. So because the computer's just going to be able, <laughs> if you attack, the computer's going to be able to punish you every time. So he's like. At the high level, you end up just standing there and just waiting for them to jump an anti or something like that. But if that. you play fighting games, I think yeah. everyone's experienced this at one point where you have that opponent who doesn't come at you, right? They turtle. But that, that's the human aspect, right? Is like you have to put in that surprise or something. You have to do that random jump or something. But if you fight against an AI that doesn't get surprised, it's it's not going to work like that. <laughs> <laughs> so they're talking about how making, you know, if they design an AI that every time you get close, they're going to grab you and they're going to block every attack. Like, they can just beat anybody, right? right? They can make a, like, if you look at, like, the open, the old broken yeah. uh, boss characters that are, like, perfect. I think Harada was kind of picking on Otisan about the SNK boss the AI, ones, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's so he's like, about yeah. the Genocide Cutter, yeah. right? Which is uh, Rugal, I, yeah, I believe, right? Yeah, Genocide the... Cutter right there. But... Yeah, SNK is known for that, right? The famous the old bosses, bosses that are like perfect, right? Brutal, they read right? every one of your inputs, <laughs> right? They, they just murder you. So, all of a sudden saying, yeah, you know, if we want to program that, we can. But that's not what they want. They want to make something that feels human. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like what Okobo is saying here. So, he says, even without AI, though, there's still a lot of improvements we can make to the online matchmaking system, right? Ah, uh, so Okubo's, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, Odesan's being more realistic, he's saying, you know, there is a lot of optimal stuff you could do, yeah. but from business, when they're doing it, you have mm -hmm. to kind of keep in uh, cost uh, yeah. to actually implement these things, and it's kind of a balance that you do have to take into effect if you're in their position, right? And then Harada's like, yeah, we should just like team up and you know, kind of yeah, try to share Capcom. on some of this yeah, stuff, right? Like, Capcom, why don't you give me some stuff? So he's saying we could even like share some of our data on mm -hmm. what we've learned about uh, different ranks yeah. and, and player base and stuff. I've known like I, I I've done work with Arika and I remember just talking to those guys. They're like Harada really Harada goes out. They said morning sun as well. They're very very kind of proactive for developers like talking with other companies, sharing and stuff. It's like not he's not a very like secretive or protective guy. He's all about raising everybody up. He's one of the only ones that can do it for many reasons, and he's exception yeah. in the rule. So anyway, next question here. So this is a very hot topic, at least in the in the West right now. Yeah. But uh, fighting games getting simplified and how to stop that or make it so that it's acceptable. Who we got now? Shinbori-san. Shinbori mm -hmm. So he's saying that... Obviously, we all have to uh, gain a new player base with mm -hmm. each new installment. That's one yeah. of the things that the company expects of us producers, right? Yeah. So it's like when you make a new game, if you like whatever Dead or Alive 4, and then you're going to put out 5, it's like you need to get new people with 5, but then the people you have in 4, you need to keep them happy exactly. as well. So that's why there's always this kind of... And he's saying, like, yeah. how do you guys tackle yeah. that? And yeah. everyone's, like, quiet now. It's like, how that's one of the it? hardest yeah. parts of our job, right? Yeah. Right? You can't just keep making the game for the same group of players, right? You need to... That's where the simplification comes yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. So let's see. He Nobody just, wants to give an answer. Well, he just threw it to Ishiwatari-san, and, and Harado's like, you gave it to the most complex yeah. fighting game system, right? <laughs> Gobasan's just yeah. saying he would like wanna, to know as well. Yeah, I want to hear... Because he was talking about how Daisuke uses the arcade stick and his games are difficult. But Strive is coming out, right? Strive is a huge change. So, Ishiwatari is just saying, Ishiwatari is just saying, there's a difference between simple and easy, mm -hmm. and they're not necessarily the same. Yeah. He's saying that obviously we want to make it easy to understand as the, the main objective, right? So, whether that means, though, Cutting out game yeah. systems and things might not necessarily be one and the same, right? They're gonna find out, right? Yeah. Right. So he says they're still they're still trying to figure out. So that's what the new game strive is gonna be. They're they're changing things. So he's gonna find out if maybe cutting buttons out, cutting execution out, will this make it easier to understand the game, or is it some other things that are important here? 
その奥を表現するためのそのシステムとしては当然やはりえっと So he's just saying that you need a system that allows for player growth according to how much you practice, etc. But then it has to be kind of easy to understand for new players that, that come in. So it doesn't mean it's, it's easy, right? It means that it's easy to understand what you need to do, right? Not just gameplay, too. It's just like the, the looking and being able to understand, like just all the menus and UI and everything. But then, if you can see, if new players can see what the game system is about, and it's easy to understand, but at the same time, it looks something like yeah. something that's awesome that yeah. you want to do yourself, then it doesn't really matter yeah. if it means cutting systems down or not. Yeah. Maybe you don't need to do that. Maybe you don't need to. If it's fun, if it's good. The goal, yeah. that's just one yeah. method to try to achieve that, right? Cool. They're talking about, even though this is Koi Tecmo, they're asking about Grand Blue, I think. He's trying to say that Shinisei means like visibility and to be able to understand what's going on at a glance, right? So trying to attain that, but at the same time、uh, have some kind of depth、yeah. uh, via the game Pachi, system, right? So Pachi is about Grand Blue now, because Grand Blue has like the cooldown system. It's very, it's simple, it's easy to understand, but. Adds depth to it apparently.、Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's saying he doesn't want to、uh, decrease you know, the inputs that make fighting games cool. Yeah, so Grand Blue, you can do both. You can do the command input or you can do the easy input. So he's just saying if you could try to take both、mm -hmm. of those and、yeah. maybe somehow combine them into、yeah. a cohesive system, right? I'll let you handle this one because、yeah. you're more I mean, Grand Blue dude. It, it, he, again, he's talking about simplification here. So he said, like you said, what happened if we get both? Rather than simplifying, let's just keep both options in there. So try to find a balance between、yeah. the two. So I think he was talking about the, the, the little mistake here. Yeah, 2D, 3D, but talking the problem in fighting games about inputting your command and then not getting it out. I think in 3D games it's a little bit different, but in、uh, like a 2D game, like if you input a dragon punch and you don't get it, you just get a little jab. Kind of thing. So he was thinking that, you know, that's part of the, that is part of the,、uh, Difficulty of the 2D fighting game is being able to put out those key moves in the key situations. So, what was the point? What was the point of having a simple input in there? So he's saying, you know, we're going to have the cooldown system, so you can put it out whenever you want, but it's you have to choose the proper time. Right. Right. Even though it's one button, the cooldown is heavier. Has to be、so, more intentional. Yeah, right. Yeah. The cooldown is heavier there. Okay. So that's yeah, that is the the difference. If you don't know, in Grand Blue, is like if you do the the command input, your cooldown is a little bit shorter here, but the easier one is a bit longer.、Mm. So now we're、yeah. just talking about so the entrance. Yeah, the getting into the game, right? So if you pick up a two D fighting game, is that the first gap of doing all the inputs and everything? So Harada is saying by having the there,、right? yeah, yeah by putting in a simple inputs in Grand Blue, there's you can just get in, right? You can get in, and then the ceiling might be high, but the entrance is really wide open.、Mm. So yeah, there's already so many people that have been playing fighting games for so long that you know there's so many. Godlike, really strong players. That how can a brand new player just jump in right away? I think he's saying that、mm -hmm. right. That it's not just the input, right? Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of things that you can't、stuff. overcome、yeah. against a more experienced player.、Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But again, this is different. Yeah. It's difficult. This is not like an easy answer, right? There's no clear. How do do we simplify the game? Will it get more people in there, or like how can we actually? I guess this is、uh, yeah, the same saying, as before. How do you get new player groups with experienced、yeah. groups to be able to play on the same field, right? Was difficult because、mm -hmm. you know part of the draw 
to practice mm. in the games is to have that that uh, thing that you can keep with you that you know you're good at fighting games. I'm trying to think in English. It's not it's not coming out like it does in Japanese. Yeah. Harada says like <laughs> if something is simple, it doesn't mean that it's going to be good for it. Just because it's simple doesn't mean that. Uh, new players are going to be able to, to play and do something like that. He right, because you could do the commands, yeah, but you won't know how to play. the best timing against someone who's better than you, right? He gave a, an example of like fighting or FPS games that even if you're a brand new player, all you do is you just got to shoot, shoot somebody, yeah. right? So you know what to do. Even if someone's better than you, you can still get, if you get like a sneak Lucky. attack on them, you can always <laughs> shoot them. But and a fighting game is not like that. But if we did that on fighting games, mm. uh, it could be simple. You could have like a one or two hit mm. kill, right? But is that a good idea? <laughs> mm. <laughs> but the idea is to try to, to move them down, design like, a gradual yeah. uh, it's you know, fun at all staircase. Levels. Yeah, right. You start here and then you keep going and keep going and keep going. So that you get like mm -hmm. really involved in the game. Invested, I guess you'd say. Mm. So, yes, it's cutting them off to go to the next topic. Cause <laughs> this we're... question is like a three hour discussion, right? Oh, this stuff isn't something yeah. you can do in like in five to ten minutes, minutes right? Yeah. Uh, so, what was that? Only four? So, I we had three, don't think we. Maybe. Was it three? I think it was four, but that's it for the discussion corner, guys. Oh, we ran out of time? Yeah, I told you. <laughs> We ran out of time. Wonder what the ones we missed were. Uh, I don't know, but hopefully they'll do it again. Hopefully they'll talk more too, right? It's like eight minutes, eight minutes, eight minutes. Yeah. It's kind of short. But we're going to take a quick five-minute break, I believe these guys are. Um, I think Pachisan and Daisuke, they said, out, are right? going to swap out. They're going to bring in uh, someone else, Ozawa-san, I think. Yeah, Ozawa-san, I believe, right? Now, I know there's a lot of people watching that are only here for the announcements well it's gonna start soon from now yeah soon. So, so hang in there so i think they're okay. so he's got uh punches talking about his grand blue fantasy yeah. uh, stream they're gonna have next saturday next saturday is it mm -hmm. And they might have something to talk yeah. about. So if you're here for Grand Blue news, I don't think Wait it's coming today. Week, right? <laughs> I think it's going to be next week. <laughs> so he's not he's not giving any answers. He's just saying next week. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, just tune in next week. I know some people might think that way. Uh, hmm, maybe, we'll see. Maybe that's uh, something to mm -hmm. talk about next week. What is that? Who knows? The 8th. So next week, August 8th. Is it 8th, yeah. you say? Okay. August 8th. So next Saturday, one week from today. Is uh, Nishitani san also taken off as well? No, I think he's I didn't catch it. it. Uh, so, so Daisuke is leaving as well, but he's saying, make sure you, you stick around to the end. Make yep. sure you watch to the end. And I, I'm telling you to make sure you watch to the end and watch on Twitter as well. Watch on Twitter? Right, so guys, we're going to take a quick five minute break. We'll be back.
Okay, so welcome back, guys.、Uh, thank you for sticking around after the break. So, this is going to be the second part of the round table, except discussions are, you know, we had a nice little 15 minutes of discussion now. The second out is going to be about some announcements, news, upcoming events like this. I know.、Uh, Looking on Twitter, this is what a lot of people are here for, right? The part you guys are waiting for,、yes. right? So here we see Ozawa. Ozawa here is taking place of Arc System. Yeah, Ozawa's、yeah. on up there,、uh, second from the left, right?、Yep. Oh, cool! He's got a little doll. Is that Morisan? It looks、a、like he, he's got he's got the glasses、oh, and the leather snap, jacket. Oh snap! That's、so、cool, man. I want a Mori doll. So they're they're making a little joke. They're not calling them announcements. They're calling them souvenirs, right? We did did you bring a souvenir to the show? Presents. Yeah.、Right. Did you bring a, anything for people? So they're gonna go one by one, and they're gonna each developer is gonna say if they have something or not. All right. So just so you guys, maybe who are just tuning in now, we got what is on、uh, producer on Sam show, also KOF, I believe,、uh, the director Kurokisan, Uzasan, just joining from Arc System Works,、uh, the legend himself,、uh, Nishitani-san from Arika,、yeah. uh, Mochi from Koei Tecmo Games, along with Shibori-san.、Mm-hmm. You know,、uh, you guys probably pretty familiar with him.、Uh, Nakayama-san and Matsumoto-san are two that we don't really see from、mm-hmm. that much from Capcom, but they're the producer and the director、yep. on the Street Fighter series. Uh, from our side, we got Yesterday Sports,、uh, who does all the sports stuff、mm-hmm. in Japan here, and、uh, we said Ryan Okubo, the two.、Uh, I don't know what you call it. He's the chief producer on the whole Tekken、yeah. franchise. You know, I'm the day-to-day producer.、Uh, Okubo is producer on Soul Calibur Six. So, so they, that's what we got today. Who can go first? So they were fighting over who gets to give the first announcement, and it looks like Koi Tecmo won. Well, yeah, it's like we're doing presentations in school, you and you want to be first、yeah. or last, yeah, right? Yeah, you gotta yeah, yeah. be in that good spot,、right. you know. Get in it. So now Shinbori San's gonna go first, I believe. Yeah, Shinbori's speaking now, right? Ah, <laughs> okay. But yeah, first of all, they they thanked everybody, right? We thank you, everybody. Right now. They're saying that、wow. the player base is expanding. Yeah, it's still growing even during this this year. <laughs> they're saying that it's it's doing quite well. They're, they're like, why are you talking? He、like、looks surprised. Yeah. <laughs> like, why is he he he's, he's he's saying good news? It's like, why? I was like, why are you talking like that? Come on, man. So、saying, it hasn't brought anything、yeah. huge today, but、mm-hmm. but they already have like a, a kind of free to play version、yeah. with DOA six, right? Yeah, I think、uh, people already know this way. So this is saying three million、mm-hmm. downloads, right? Ten thousand, hundred, th- three million. Yeah, three million.、Yes. Three million. I, dude, I've been here ten years. I still can't do the numbers. I, three dude, million. I've been doing so many <laughs> budgets and stuff. I'm so used to Japanese、yeah. numbers. So yeah, if you guys are interested in Dead or Alive, like they mentioned, they're cute girls, a lot of cute girls. You can give it a try for free, right here. So I don't know what the terminology here. The core fighters version is on Xbox One and Steam, but、mm-hmm. then、uh, free to play is on PlayStation Four. It looks like probably just naming,、yeah. just naming thing. But I think it's the same exact thing. So he said, even though it's free to play, you can you know you get a full training mode and everything. You can practice. So you get the base、mm-hmm. game for free, and then you kind of、uh, you buy the characters that、yeah. you you want to play.、Right? You can buy skins too. He's like, you know, you can you get like four, you get to play with four characters at the start. But he's like, you can know, give it a try, and then you can just support us. If you don't want to buy the full game, but you want to support, you just some skins and things like that.、Mm-hmm. So he's saying that one of the merits, yeah, you can just download、yeah. the game for free and purchase only the characters、yeah. you're interested in, right? You know, the pro players always talk about like, oh, you need to have every character in training mode. But if you don't want to play training mode, you just want to go online with the character you like, just buy them. Yeah, I mean, I feel like this is a, a good system. Players have their own goals that they want to achieve, so. So he's saying that they have a wide variety of different、mm-hmm. uh, players, but they、yeah. want to expand the base even more. So check it out. Even more. So again, just just thanking everyone. Please, please come out. <laughs> he seems very not confident. I don't know. <laughs> and just thinking,、uh, SNK. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. SNK has the、uh, the collab characters and stuff. So here's the next slide. So this is a summer sale going、yeah. on, I believe,、uh, fifth, from、right. the fifth through the eighteenth. I believe these Japanese times as well, right? So like four days from now. Pretty big, right? Sixty five percent、right? off there. Season pass one, two. They have four season passes. 
thirty percent off, twenty, ten, ten, sixty five, sixty five. So yeah, if you are, you know, if you're already a dead or alive fan. You wanted to get it on a different platform or something like now is the time right now. If you're not sure, you know, get the uh, get the free the so free version first. I think he's mentioned that season pass one is the one that includes Shiranu Mai and the yeah. SNK characters, right? Yeah, right here. It looks like season pass two is the summer. mentioning that uh, Capcom doesn't did pay the cent when uh, people play Goki in our game or uh, Akuma, but we uh, let them use some some uh, what do you call it patents. Yeah, man. He's He's gonna say this stuff on stream, huh? He just says, he's, all, he's all out, huh? <laughs> okay. Damn secrets. Just to our corporate office, I didn't say that. I'm just translating what Harada's saying. So. so on the bottom right, season pass four. Season pass four. So the latest character Tamaki is included. Tamaki, yeah. I think that girl with the the green greenish hair. She's quite popular, so he hopes to check her out. Mm -hmm. What? We got, uh, he's got something else. Can you get rid of the slide? What? He's gonna do a Harada thing? He's like, I wonder if you can see this. I think that's Tamaki. He's talking about the arcade version in Japan, right? Yeah, hold it up. Hold it up. Yeah, like, hold it up. No idea, dude. Oh no! <laughs> oh cool! The way that that blur works is pretty interesting. That, that right? definitely was not intentional. Is this the new character, the Tamaki? Tamaki, yeah, I believe so. I believe so. And look down here, we got look at look at Harada. I wonder who that is. That's the famous Itagaki-san, yeah, Itagaki right? The, the old Team Ninja guy. Wow. Him and Harada got some uh, some rivalry, right? Some smack talk well, there, is going no, on. Well, no, they used to. That yeah, was good. Until Itagaki-san found out they were both from the same university. Oh, really? And Itagaki-san is a senpai, which totally changes oh, really? the whole dynamic, oh, okay. right? Now Harada's got to apologize. It's like, he used to be Harada-san, yeah. now it's like, oh, Harada. Uh, so... <laughs> So it, it looks like soon Tamaki will be in the arcade. You know, the uh, should be added to the arcade soon. There so he's saying that, yeah. yeah. So the people who are waiting to see this uh, character in the arcade, yeah. it should be soon. <laughs> yeah. This definitely was not Brad intentional. Brad is like but... pulling this. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, so this is, you know, mainly a, a Japan discussion about the arcades. Arcades are closed for a good two months or so, but they're reopened now. Yeah. They're reopened now. So there are interesting Well, it depends enough, on where you are, yeah. too, right? Like Tokyo or yeah. out in the countryside. There are, there are some people in Japan that are arcade only, believe it or not. Yep. Right? Yep. It's like... Master Cup is yeah. a sampling of that, yeah, right? Yeah, arcade only. I don't play console, so... <laughs> That's our other boss. Yeah. It's because it's the 5th, yeah, so the Wednesday is when they're going to update, and they yeah. do it. which applies to any of you guys in mm -hmm. Japan, I suppose, right? But if you go too early to the arcade, it might not be released yet. Yeah, on Wednesday, right? It takes time, dude. It, yeah, it's so crazy update, now. Upload everything, yeah, yeah. But it will be Wednesday. But that's it for um, Koi Tecmo. So next is... Who? Who we got? Harada. Alright, SNK. SNK is going. Now I saw on Twitter there was a lot of a lot of questions. A lot of people want SNK news. Let's see what they got today. Well, everyone knows the question, right? So he's got something to show, share with you guys. Okay. Yeah. This is a character that was just uh, announced. Right? They just said, yeah. That's the Japanese read. I don't know what it is in English, right? Collaboration character, this new for uh, Sam Spirits, a uh, Sam show, you yeah. call it in this right? Honor, I believe the game is called Honor of Kings. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Did he, 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 he just said her name in the Chinese pronunciation, and everyone's like, everyone's laughing, like, man, you sound like a native Chinese speaker, man. <laughs> He's getting he good at that. I mean, huh? if you had to go to Tensei, if you had to go out to China and do it, you have to like get the pronunciation, right? everything going. But she's free. She's free. So if you guys, I'm sure if you're a Sam Show fan, you probably already are aware of this, but you can just download it and play from the 6th there. The next slide. Next slide, please. Ta -da. Season pass three. Yeah, this is good. Development uh, is decided. Decided. So yeah. it's right? So they announced. It's a go. Yeah. It's a go, yep. 
This is the first time they're announcing that, yep. right? Yeah. Yep, yep. So season two came out. You have all the characters, but they're still going. So Samurai Spirits is still going. Samurai Showdown in the West. So now it's time for you guys to go on Twitter and then spam them with whatever DLC character you want. So just saying that they're not going to touch on the details mm -hmm. today, but you know, please look forward to mm -hmm. info coming soon. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you just talk about the, the pace of the development is, is quite mm -hmm. fast. The new character yeah, they being announced, Warden, and then so now since yeah. past three. June. So in June, the end of June, they put in Warden, the new character, and now you have the new Honor Kings character, and now you have season three. So they're like, you guys are getting a lot of Cranking info. it out, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone's just really surprised at the, the pace of the mm. development there, right? Excellent. Are we saying uh, these two are, are actually streaming from SNK yeah. office? Yeah, yeah, you see in the background. On Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Harada and Okubo yeah. are both at, at home. home. He's like, we're at home, man. <laughs> And they made them wear the Neo Geo t-shirts too, probably, right? He's saying your company's pretty, uh, the, pretty the, tight run ship, they huh? They call it a black company. That yeah, means that, like it's, it's, they, they overwork their employees, in Japan, right? They overwork yeah. their employees. So it's like, man, you, you guys need to loosen up over there. Uh-oh. So this is the MC yeah, asking the question, question. Right? Sam Show. Okay. But there's another no, franchise no. that everyone Don't knows. Do Don't do it. What? I'm not, I don't want to get in trouble. I'm not saying anything until they say it. Yeah. He's they, asking, is there anything you can touch on for yeah, that? Yeah, he's like, there's another game, there's another series. <laughs> Oda's looking for the sword yeah, under the yeah. desk, right? He's like, come to get like, this dude. <laughs> there's another series. Uh-oh. <laughs> and he's saying that not from an MC perspective, but from a fanboy. Yeah, Fui is a, is a fighting game player. Yeah, I don't think this was on script either, right? Yeah, so la it was last year at EVO, one year ago is when they announced... He said that yeah. thing is uh, in development mm -hmm. on floor above me. They still didn't say the name. I'm not gonna, I don't want to say the name if they're not going to say the name. But they didn't have anything of time to show for this timing, mm -hmm. but they have something they're considering uh, soon. Yeah, very soon. Just didn't make it uh, for this, yeah. this uh, stream. Whatever but, game that is, I have no idea what they were talking about. But uh, thank you very yeah, much for that. Though. They couldn't they couldn't show any new news today, but they said very soon in a, in in a little bit they want to show you. Hey, he, Harada is now just asking for geese permanently in Tekken. Can I just add? <laughs> and uh, Odasan said, "Okay, I'll try to get a higher position in the company and try to make that happen." <laughs> Yeah, I'll do anything I can to help. Oda-san's a super cool guy. All right, next. Next maker, publisher. Who we got? Capcom-san. Okay. We got Matsumoto-san here. Who is the producer, right? Mm -hmm. About Street Fighter V. He wants to touch on yeah. some things. So they, they just announced, I mean, they might talk about it here, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. So next slide, please. Okay. Again, we, this is the fifth year of yeah. uh, online operations. This, is, this has been going on, right? So the, it's our, this sale is already on the summer until sale. Until the 4th, yeah, right? until the 4th. So if you want it now, it's the time. 25% off. This is a champion edition, too. So it comes, this is kind of like the complete version now. With the stages yeah, and costumes. Like 40, yeah. 40 characters, 200 costumes, 34 stages. 27. That, that's pretty pretty good deal right there. So until the 4th, right? So please, if you guys hurry, are interested, if you have, hurry if you don't up. have it already, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, so this okay. says a demo, demo yeah. version, right? I think I think this was announced before too, but from the fifth, uh, they're gonna same thing we saw with uh, with Koi Tecmo. It's a free to play version right here. So a, wow. a demo version with all forty characters, right? That's that's kind of crazy. 
ただければ、えー、とてもとても嬉しい。So he's like, if you were interested in Street Fighter but you've never tried it before, you can just try, you can touch the game, feel if you like it or not, for free, starting on the fifth. Wow. Karada's、mm-hmm. like, this is crazy, but. Yeah, see, I yeah. was wondering this.、Yeah. Is there an、uh, end date to it?、Mm. What do you say? He's like, there, there is, but. About two weeks. About, that's still really good. Yeah. Two weeks free to play Street Fighter V with the whole cast. That's crazy too, even if you have the game already, but you know, you didn't get the DLC, you want to try a character and see if you like them. Like, now's a great time you can,、uh, you can get involved. Yeah, dude, or、mm-hmm. if you want a friend to pick it up, that's yeah, yeah. a really easy way for them to do that.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Rod is just saying, well, I don't think there's anyone out there that's wondering what is Street Fighter. <laughs> what kind of game is Street Fighter? I don't know. It's only been around for what? 30, 30 plus years or something. <laughs> he's like, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a explanation. Is the guy who like, breathes fire and with has stretchy arms, arms right? and, and breathes fire from India? <laughs> he should give the game a try. <laughs> Pretty cool. Wow. <laughs> so said there might、mm-hmm. be someone like that somewhere. Maybe. In, Not in Dawson, the, in but the you know, that doesn't know about Street Fighter. And there's another slide here. Also about esports、mm-hmm. info. So, this is the,、uh, this weekend. This is in what? Central America, Latin America. It's happening last week. They're saying, you know, Daigo won online. That was, that was a huge that. thing. That crazy, so,、uh, this week they're, hap- they're doing it. Uh, they're going to Central stream America,、it. right? Where's the stream right here? Yeah, they're going to stream it on Capcom Fighters JP channel. Again, this is for the Japanese audience. You guys watching right now,、uh, English stream, I believe, is just on Capcom Fighters there. But this weekend's another tournament.、Mm-hmm. So he's touching on this, and we saw it with Daigo, right?、Yep. Is that if you win it, you get a place in the finals, right? Yeah, different from the point system、yeah. before. Now it's just winner qualifies. And this is like, you know,、uh, I don't think there's a whole lot of the tournaments、mm-hmm. in Central America, right? So he's saying this is an excellent、no. chance. And, They have a really strong scene out there. Yeah. See. And he's, he's touching on the players from Mexico, maybe, and、yeah. Dominican Republic.、Yeah. Some people that maybe you don't see quite often、mm-hmm. that are、uh, quite strong. It's、mm-hmm. a good, good opportunity to check that out. Yeah. So everyone, please watch. This please feels watch, weird. Watch. Me, me, like,、uh, being <laughs> PR for Capcom, right? <laughs> Welcome to being a, a competitor. But we're all in the same boat here, right?、Yeah. SFL. Okay. And this is, again, another. This is mainly only for Japan. So sorry, you guys overseas. But if you're a fan, you could still watch it on the Capital Fighters JP channel. I don't know if it's going to have an English stream. He's talking about a league, right? Yeah. Everyone knows this one. The Street Fighter League in Japan is really, really developed. They, they do all sorts of qualifications, all sorts of different tournaments right now. So, this is a preseason open qualifier. So, you could like win the qualifier, so you didn't qualify for stage two. There's like five or six stages, it's, it's pretty wild. But there will be a stream happening next weekend. So, again, if you want more, if you want more. Wow, they got some interesting rules, though. Yeah, yeah. under 22, there's, it's open.、Mm-hmm. And he was even mentioned that there's even some、uh, Japanese talent, I、mm-hmm. think, that take place. People who are known for playing the game. That's been really big,、uh, especially for, I would say, Street Fighter out here, is that they get a lot of you know, t- talent, TV hosts, comedians, models playing the game and stuff like that. And this is a three on three format, I think he was mentioned earlier,、mm-hmm. right? Last one. Next slide. I think this is.、Uh Summer、yeah. update. So, this is, this is, I know a lot of people were expecting,、uh, you know, Today, I saw on、right? Twitter they wanted announcements and things, but Capcom has its own show,、Event. its own announcement show where they're going to give reveals. They already said they're going to show new characters, the new season. So, that's going to be next week. They actually have、uh, Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega is、oh, going to be the host. Kenny's yeah, doing Kenny's that. hosting that. So, again, sorry if, if you are a Street Fighter fan watching today. You have to wait one more week, just one more week,、uh, and this is going to be their official update there. Now, obviously, this、uh, 2 a.m. is for Japan. Yeah, it's going to be in prime time.、So. It's prime time for、uh, the dudes out in the West there. But they, they're showing a lot. It's a special guest, but they already got announced it's Kenny. I hope <laughs> you're not like. Hey, I was on Twitter. Unless Kenny deleted it, I don't know. It was, on, it was on Twitter. I saw the tweet. Oh, okay, there you go.、Mm-hmm. Kenny Omega. 
Yeah. So, Mats Matsan said yeah. it. Yeah, he's like, they already said it. They already said it. Yeah. You're saved. You're yeah. He's like, you didn't update. Harada's You're not going like, to get canceled. Yeah. Harada's like, you didn't update the slide. What's going on? <laughs> but Kenny, of course, big Street Fighter fan. So, he's a, he's a player. So, it's a good match there. So he uses Oko mentioned that we have a really? live group of all the publishers uh -huh. that we used to coordinate this. And uh, Shinbori san's uh -huh. icon was Kenny Omega. I didn't know that. From Koei, from Koei Tech. Wow. Okay. Where's Kenny? Kenny, you got to get a uh, guest captain dead or alive. I wonder how that'll turn out. That'd be interesting. That's a, it's a grab heavy game. But yeah, again, For Japan, please, please don't get angry. Please don't go go crazy. Just one more week. One Relax. more week. This this has been planned for a while, so they you know they can't just be like, all right, let's just show everything today. It, yeah. it looks like they're gonna give a lot of details too, so you yeah. can look forward to that. And you just mentioned to the Japanese people that uh, they're gonna do an archive in case you can't tune at two at two a.m. So Harada's mm. saying he's up, so no problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Street Fighter actually has been, uh, when they do these reveals, they've been just showing everything. They've been like, the whole season, these are all the characters coming out. They, they, yeah, they, they usually give a lot of details at the same time. So, um, if you're a Street Fighter fan, Street Fighter player, this is this should be very exciting next week. I'm glad, man. The more fighting games are doing well, mm -hmm. you know, the, the best for the scene. So. Yeah, without a doubt, you know. <laughs> He's saying that you sure it's not going to leak because yeah. stuff often does. But this happened a lot. Hirata with his uh, trolling yeah. comments again. <laughs> well, you know, we're pretty close with yeah. Onasan and uh -huh. we would often uh, be in LA for a show or some kind of esports event yeah. where we're all on Twitter making sure nothing leaks. And Onasan was always the first one to be like, <laughs> no. <laughs> Yesterday. So we had rehearsal yesterday, guys, and they showed some of the, the reveals, so I haven't seen any leaks. The, the reveals you're going to see are world first. People don't see that, man. Me and Harada, we're, hard, we're like guess, hiding everything, right? at home getting uh -huh. yelled at by our wives because we're looking at our phones, but it's not like we're just scrolling through yeah, stuff. Yeah. It's like, please don't please leak don't stuff. Leak, please don't leak. Please don't leak. <laughs> all right. So yeah, Capcom fans, one week. Just hang in there, guys. you get all your information on the 6th. Who's up next? We got. We still have Arika san and us. Arxis, Bandai, Arxis as well, Arika. right? Arika san next, probably, right? Nishitani san, here we go. So they're, they've been doing. Uh, kind of changing Fighting X layer. They've been making a beta, but they also are making a new game. Fighting X layer is touching on two years from yep. release. Mm. Towards the end, they haven't changed much. Yeah, they never really updated the game. They're doing beta tests mm -hmm. and online tests. It's a, it's a big change, too, if you guys haven't been following along. Uh, they've really kind of revamped the entire game engine and uh, PlayStation on Steam you can kind of download and try it so it's super fresh right if you played it on release and then you try this new beta it's like a completely different game so give it a try then they're also uh, I don't know if we can say but they've been working on different uh, mm. what did he say he's gonna do? When this when this thing is over, they're going to show something new. But they've also been working on the uh, online connectivity, uh, is what I will say. That's what he was touching on, right? He yeah. said that he's, he he thinks yeah. it feels pretty good. Yeah, so they've been they've been they pushing a rollback, right? So they've been sponsored by or inspired by the West. So they've really been pushing it in their their game right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. To be decided when, but mm. Steam version, they're gonna add mm. a screen to uh, allow you to select skins. Yeah, the, the character the, skins, the, this character skin and stuff, right? So th this company, uh, Arika, if you look at all these other companies here, they're all massive, right? They're all huge conglomerate. They they have other games outside of that. Arika is very 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 small. It's just a small group of uh, creators and developers. So very passionate, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, skin 
So it's important that、yeah. you can select the skins, but it's a but, feature、uh, specific、yeah. to the Steam version so, at the moment. He's, he's hinting that there's, I think he's hinting that there's some stuff that are coming. So he's saying, all I'm going to say is this and this, and then like you, you kind of deduct, deduct,、uh, make yeah, a conclusion on your own, right? Harad figured. I didn't figure out. Maybe they're going to add more skins. I don't know. More guest characters. Who knows? Because right now there's no skins. He's talking about Mihara-san、yeah. Mihara about the game.、Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you want to know more info, that's the, the guy to follow.、Yeah. Mihara-san, will, he tweets in English too a little bit as well. He's saying that they're、mm-hmm. testing. Oh, he's talking about it, huh? Yeah. Cross play,、uh, cross play. They've been、mm-hmm. testing out a bit. Yeah. So the team's not that big. Yeah. That's the thing about Arika is their, their team is very, very small. It's a very small company, but I think that gives them freedom to kind of try out more stuff. So you know, they're they're trying to implement rollback. They're trying to implement、uh, cross play in their games and stuff. They're trying to listen to the fans and put everything in. And also, the PlayStation 4 version right now is 75% off, so it's on sale.、Wow. Yeah. So $1,200, $1, about、uh, you know, $10 or so. Please buy it, he said. Support them out. Without this man right here, without Nishitani, there probably wouldn't be this conference right now, right? The creator, Street Fighter Two. So it's going on until the fourth as well. Yeah, so just three, three days from now. A lot of fighting stuff going on, huh? Summer, summer sale. And please buy Dead or Alive as well. No, they they did they did. So SNK has a collab character.、Uh, Terry Bogard is a collab character in there. So it's like, hey, let's get a let's get some collab characters with.、Uh, Yeah, with Terry, alive, some put some of them in there.、Mm-hmm. And then Capcom-san、mm-hmm. talking、mm-hmm. about the Street Fighter V、mm-hmm. demo as well until about that time. And we also have sales on our games、mm-hmm. going on as well, so please check those out if you haven't bought it yet. Both Soul Calibur and Tekken. <laughs> And I think, I think maybe the Twitter monsters and the stream monsters, right? Be like, come on, you hyped up big announcements. Like, what's going on? I think, please wait. Please I think. wait. So now we have two left,、mm-hmm. right? Bandai Namco and、uh, Arc System Works. So they're saying Tori isn't a bird in、yeah. this instance. It means like the last、yeah. spot on a presentation. So we're going first. And the、uh, arc is gonna go last. It's kind of prestigious. And、uh, Harada's like, I know you got some good news. One is saying like, actually, our European <laughs> office <laughs> is the publisher for their game、mm-hmm. for Strive. So,、uh, with that in mind as well, <laughs> yeah, you get the prestigious <laughs> last place. And, and then he's like, oh man, like, you're just got, raising the, the yeah, hurdle I got, there. Yeah, <laughs> I got a lot of expectations now, right? Harada just said that Arc just has big announcements, so we got a lot of expectations. So. Bandai Namco first. So we're going first.、Uh, I believe Okubo's up first、mm-hmm. with、uh, Soul Calibur stuff. So we'll see what he has, which I already know, obviously. When the trailers talk, we just gotta be quiet. I don't wanna, I don't wanna do reaction videos here. So first off, he's mentioned, and you probably saw the footage during the interval,、mm-hmm. but、uh, PlayStation's doing their tournament feature for Soul Calibur、yep. as well. Where Harada go? And、uh, Sony made <laughs> that footage. It was only Haromaru. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> so maybe Oda san and、uh, Kuroki san will be happy with that. We're very glad that you approved it so quickly. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that's not even a Soul Calibur character. Like, come on, man. So he's saying it、yeah. wasn't、uh, one of the topics, but because of the COVID situation,、yeah. uh, the season pass development was obviously impacted.、Mm-hmm. So, with some hard things to, to mention, but. And also,、yeah. like for example, you know, when we, we develop our games, we have our, our battle team、mm-hmm. uh, test, balance test it right.、Yeah. And you have to actually be in the same room for、yeah. that kind of thing. It's not just balancing too, like, you know, like beta, betas, and having players out there. You can't do that in this, this landscape. But they said finally they're going to be able to announce something. Check it out. Here we go.
closed my eyes, I was prepared to sleep for eternity. Ishiro Mitsurugi, you murdered my master! For that, I shall have your head! Setsuka! I did not teach you my techniques for revenge. Even your eyes disgust me, daughter of savages. Do not belittle yourself, no matter how others may see you. What you have inherited is Shugen Kokonoe's very soul! How unfortunate! Flower petals shall line your grave! This is the work of fate. I merely played my part. I will strike you down, and keep moving forward. Oh. I know that guard. Also draw steel. So finally got some big announcement there. I know those guys on social media are happy, so right? Yep. We, were, we were tagged in the tweet, and it was like every day, like 40 <laughs> messages, like, put in Setsuka, give me Setsuka, where's Setsuka? There, you got her, you got her. And not just that, they're getting uh, uh, an update, gameplay update, new stage, the Tekken. Character the, the Tekken costumes, is awesome, right? man. That look really sick. And that's all free, right? And it's coming out. The no, the, the, I believe the Tekken costumes the are part of the, the DLC. So yeah. there's two. There's DLC 11 and 12. Uh, 11 being the character and 12 being the yeah. customization items. So. The stage and the update, so the balance patch is coming out in what? Three days? Yep. That's all going to be free, so you guys get the, the stage and everything. Let's see. He's saying that a lot of people, you know you can destroy the costume, yes. but some people don't like that. Oh, okay. From yeah, so, base. you know, the the character creation in Soul Calibur is very, very detailed and very, very advanced. So, they're going to add an option now that your, your clothes can't get... I don't get... know if they're going to have it or not. He's, he's just touching on it. Sure. Yeah, you're right. They it said is going to be in there. They're, so. they're going to put in a, a option to protect your clothes from getting blown off so you can keep your custom uh, character there. So we're seeing it's coming on Tuesday. Uh, Sets could come back first time in ten years, right? Yeah, ten years, right? The fan base been uh, asking for her for a long time, <laughs> and uh, they asked so much. I thought about just yeah. not doing it despite them, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I, I understand that feeling a lot. Maybe take notes, all you guys asking for X character, X character, X character. You, you can go overboard. But it is possible to go overboard, right? <laughs> It's a character that's got a lot of depth to it, right? 
ある程度あのちゃんと操作ができるような感じの調整にしてます。Yeah, okay. Voivasa balances so that people who are more new to the game can still enjoy her. Not everyone played the game for 10 years, right? No one was back there in the original version. And then another sale. It's on sale on PS4. Please buy the game.、Mm -hmm. Until the 4th, right? So until、yep. the 4th is the sale, and then from the 4th is when the, the DLC is going to come out. So that's big news there if you are a Soul Calibur player, but Harada's gone. He hasn't come back. What? Uh, Ogo was saying maybe、yeah. there's no announcements、It's、for Tekken. Like, there's nothing. There's nothing to talk about Tekken.、Huh? I'm gonna have to do it instead, right? <laughs> I mean, Ogo was—he used to work on Tekken Seven, right? Before he moved to Soul Calibur, his name's in the credits for something. Yeah. He was kind of like the producer on on、Harada. Japan side. Let's call Harada. Hey. <laughs> Oh, okay. えー、改めましてご無沙汰しております鉄拳プロジェクトの原田です、まあ、何かとね、えー、このテレワークリモートワーク大変ですね皆さんもこういうのには慣れましたでしょうか、まあ、今日はねあえてこんな感じで、えー、撮影しておりますけども、えー、いろいろ生活習慣変わる中で、えー、我々鉄拳プロジェクトもですねいろいろもちろん、えー、大変な思いはえー、しておるんですけども、えー、皆様にですね、えー、できるだけもっと鉄拳を家で楽しんでいただこうと、いろいろアップデートをしたいなというふうにはもちろん思って頑張っております。ただですね、まあ、こんな状況ですので、えー、なかなか持ってくれる情報もどんどんというか、このビデオメッセージだけになっちゃうんですけども、えー、ただこんな最中なんで、えー、鉄拳プロジェクトも頑張ってて、頑張っていろいろみんなやってるぞっていう現状報告をしようと思って、えー、こういう形で、えー、配信させていただいております。はい。えー、もう鉄拳もですね、もうだから5年前のタイトルですよね。まあそれでも、えー、やっぱこの時代なので、できるだけですね、オンライン機能を中心にしっかりもう再構築ですか、えー、して、できるだけ快適に遊べるようにアップデートしていきたいなーなんて思ってます。はい。というわけで、えー、引き続き、えー、鉄拳をよろしく。お願いいたしますありがとうございました<音楽>そんなことでは許されませんよねはい分かってますあのー、ちょっと頑張りました鉄拳プロジェクトもちろん今回も情報を用意しておりますというわけで、えー、しのごの言わずに見てもらいましょう皆さん準備はいいですかそれでは VTR スタートはいはいはいわかりましたはいはいはいじゃあこれで撮影しようかねはい I was some people cute cute little dog there so there we go season four of Tekken 7 has been announced so I didn't get to see that yesterday 
That was nope, my first time seeing that. So nice. I saw Paul's it. got a new move. Play it. Another, another <laughs> shoulder tackle here. We saw a little bit of a surprise there at the end. So uh, you obviously know who that is. I have no idea who it is. Chat, you guys can, can try and guess there. So Rudd is touching. Mm -hmm. and it's five years from the release, but yep. that's the arcade, right? Three years for the release of the, arcade, mm -hmm. uh, the console version. Uh, million, we said right? five million mm -hmm. recently. We're saying we're almost to six. Damn. He's just gonna go out and say that, right? He's bragging about numbers. So right? much for our marketing down. plans, right? He's Jeez, like, we're come about to get on, dude. Six million, man. Yeah. Saying eighty percent is uh, download. Nah, it's more like seventy. Yeah, I usually download my games there. Mm -hmm. So since the game is uh still going, is being right? supported, yeah. right? We still want to do it on our side as, as long well. As you guys keep buying the game and playing the game, supporting the game, they're going to steep or keep building it up. <laughs> so Harada looks kind of weird because he's like here, but then he's mm -hmm. looking like he's on the the, the stream. Back in the video, because yeah. he's got the same thing. Yeah. But he's just going to touch on some of the yeah. points in case you missed it. I want to see what the the online experience, what he was talking about here. He's talking about the yes. Wi-Fi. So yes. did you guys notice that, right? Yes. That's saw, me. Yeah. I told you, them to do it. this. I told them to do it. Busted. You guys are busted now. You can't hide. So for you guys to ask for that, there you go. You can now, you can now, can you filter though is the question. So we're just saying that yeah. we did uh, notice that it's 50% Wi-Fi Wi players. Users, yeah. PC is mm -hmm. saying that, uh, what do you call it, that landline yeah, you, you pretty much is PC more common is be, because uh, it's connected directly. Yeah. This is something that people have been asking for a long time to be able to see that mm -hmm. before you accept a match, right? So we had that, uh, and he's talking about the online play. Mm -hmm. And because yeah. of just the current circumstances, people have been asking for improvement in uh, the online experience, Everyone's right? stuck at home, right? Yeah. Roll back, roll back. He said it. He said it. He said it. <laughs> he said we already had mm -hmm. rollback, but the variable frame, adjust the rate. Mm -hmm. There's games that do it to six, or Tekken was only set at three, three before. Yeah. So there's various yeah. ways to do it, right? Mm -hmm. So everyone says, well, you can just open up six, and you're fine. But saying that uh, for 3D, the way that the mm -hmm. animations are created are so much different than 2D games. That the animation when, back, it, uh, right? when it rolls back, back is a lot yeah. more visible. Mm -hmm. It's quite different than uh, for 3D and 2D. Mm -hmm. And so the way you have the key buffers or the way you create the animation, a lot of the stuff you have to do is so much uh, more intense than just, you know, mm -hmm. hey, do roll back and you know, paste it in. But he's saying uh, we've been doing yeah. some... Uh, we did some betas, like closed, or not closed, but what do you say, internally, mm -hmm. and uh, the results are pretty good at the moment. Mm -hmm. The response is uh, improved. Also, the ranking is something that we're changing mm -hmm. a bit. Yeah, they, they mentioned it before when they were talking about matching and stuff, right? We saw the Tekken We should have been in the trailer, said the Tekken prowess. Yeah, the Tekken skill level. And so that's going to be implemented as well, and uh, the ranks mm -hmm. is going to be a little bit different. Mm -hmm. They're going to be reset to a certain degree, mm -hmm. not like, you know, totally to zero. So yeah, we do, because of the current circumstances especially, uh, are working hard to improve on that. So there's a lot of stuff that we're working on in addition, but mm -hmm. this kind of uh, priority really got bumped up because of the whole COVID mm -hmm. situation, right? Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, that stuff got brought forward. <laughs> so you're saying that we really wanted to show more in depth? Or we even wanted to actually have, have Season 4 ready, ready already, now, yeah. but just the whole COVID situation mm -hmm. and the impact on development. Uh, and that little character tease at the end? Who could it be? <laughs> 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 I 
、What? <laughs> they, they got Harada cosplay on now. What? Like Harada didn't notice. They were noticed. No, no, no. And everyone no, does no, no. for commentators. Harada said all the, all the foreign commentators are wearing sunglasses. No, no, no. That didn't pass on that. But he said his sunglasses are something、yeah. that Capcom asked us for. True story, though. Capcom USA told him to do it because he's the bad guy.、Uh-huh. That was back during the. Street Fighter、really? Cross Tekken stuff. You have to wear the sunglasses. Yeah, Lo San was like the good guy, and, <laughs> and、uh, Harada is the bad guy. But then everyone came to expect it, so、yeah. he kind of he has to play along, right? <laughs> One more from、uh, Yasuda from Bandai Namco. Body sports. Yasuda san, right? So let's check out the slide. Online、nice. challenge events coming soon. Yeah, right. Yeah, man, so, this is this hurts. It was supposed to be the TWT was supposed to be going on. Right, New Orleans this year. Soul Calibur World Tour as well.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, we had to postpone all that、mm-hmm. stuff, right?、Uh, but we know you guys are craving for content, so we're having an online event. And here's kind of the the schedule, right? It's worldwide, nice. It's divided into regions,、mm-hmm. so it's going to be、uh, in different.、Uh, so the the dates line up with different areas, right? Okay. Yeah. So Caliber has three of them.、Uh, Tekken has、uh, a bit more, ten in, in total. Okay. Starting September 12th, so next、Running、month, through pretty, December six, right? Pretty pretty soon here. This is like the usual kind of time schedule of each year. So、it's kind of like a two-day format,、mm-hmm. right? On Saturday, we're going to have the open entry tournaments、okay. for that specific region,、mm-hmm. obviously, right? And then Sunday, you would have the exhibition matches with、uh, chosen players that、uh, okay. people might want to see, right? Are these tournaments leading up to anything, or is it each separate individual tournament? At the moment, they're they're just separate、okay. uh, entities, yeah. If you need a, a Paul player, man, I'm I'm down. Invite <laughs> me out here. Taking some preven. You know how everyone loves Paul players. They、right? love him, man. <laughs> Before that, yeah, we have West. August 15th through the 16th. This is a kind of a preven that、uh, we'd already kind of planned ahead of time, just to give you guys something cool to、mm-hmm. check out. Makes sense. It's in California, of course. We got to do everything California here. Yeah. So again, the, the little precursor there. I wonder how restricted it's going to be on regions. Is there going to be like a minimum connection check or something like that? Those are all things that、uh, they're kind of fleshing out now,、okay. and we'll be releasing more details on the homepage. I think that actually the rule set is going to be uploaded today.、Um, if you go yeah, check out Smash GG,、yeah, you can see all the, the stuff. It says it's live. So we get in there again. U.S. West residents only, please. Obama ran a Obama ran a tournament in in Japan and said Japan only. And some guy was like, "Can I enter?" It's like, "What prefect are you from?" It's like New York. I'm from New York. <laughs> I don't、it's、know like, that one. I, I can't find that one. My heart is Japan,、yeah. right? <laughs> from New York. Oh. And then yesterday, just saying that、uh, Hiroki from Dragon Ball Fighters just gave him a side. Did he say Hirone? Did he call her Hirone? Yeah, Hirone. Hirone. Like, means like big sis Hiroki. Yeah. So for information on the events we were just talking about, go to these、uh, individual well- websites. And next, Dragon Ball Fighters, right? Okay. So you got a show, an announcement of announcement. <laughs> now, so I mean, sometimes it's what, what you got to do, right? Yep. Not everyone had expected to do it right now, and then you also mentioned,、uh, you know, the COVID situation. Yep. Time schedules are getting thrown out, so. Well, the teams they had their own、yeah. separate plans moving. We tried to converge as many as we could,、mm-hmm. but、uh, they have this、uh, cool, spectacular show coming up. So、yeah. I hope you guys will check it out. Yeah. So August, it is August now. So this month, guys, all you Dragon Ball fans, and there's a lot of you guys that were asking for stuff. On、uh, Twitter, but just hang in there a little bit longer. I know it hurts. I know when you wake up expecting that、Something、Christmas big, present、right? under the、yeah. tree is not there, but it's it's coming. It's on the way. So just just hang in there, buddy. So just talking about, we even approached Nintendo、mm-hmm. and some other companies, and everyone has their own plans, obviously. Yeah. So some people could、uh, readjust them enough to participate, and some couldn't. So.、Mm-hmm. He's talking about Hiroki. He's gained weight during. <laughs> wow, this is like okay. I'm not translating this. Uh, yeah. I'm, 
ちょっとまだ出せる奥さんみたいな<笑>仕上がって仕上がってなくて、ね、まだ。It said that her、uh, her plans to get in shape didn't match up with the stream, so she didn't want to appear. She she didn't feel confident. I get it, dude. I I put on weight during COVID. I'm out running. Didn't anybody ever tease this guy? Like, there's some things you just can't say. You're not supposed to say. He hasn't done our media training yeah. course, I suppose. He's gonna get a, a call from HR, I think. Right? He's not, he's, <laughs> not me. I, here, not we just translated, guys. We didn't say 100% translation there. Okay. All right. So you go. You're Soul Calibur Tekken fan. You got. New uh, information. So Calibur's got new update. We have Tekken season, season yeah, four Tekken announcements. We have online tournament series coming out. So definitely look forward to that. And if you're a Wi-Fi player, I mean, maybe now is the time to maybe try and test out the LAN cable before season four comes. But finally, Arxis, I can't. Wait. Oh, your your title, man. Let's see what Ozawa-san has for us. He took the final spot here, so I saw. I was reading the Twitter thread because they they announced they're gonna they announced that they're gonna reveal uh, something today. So everyone had all the character picks that they wanted, the character picks they don't wanted. It's and this is how I kind of knew you. I'm yeah. like, that's that crazy yeah. foreigner that lives in Japan, that, that great mm -hmm. Guilty Gear player yeah. before I actually uh, met you. Know? That's my dude. But here we go. They're going to announce another online tournament. You know, the world tours are all shifting right. to online. So, so we're going to have we go. a Japan, Japan and American online. One. Yeah. They don't have details. They just said that it is confirmed that they will be running it. So these are the games in Japan. Nice. BB Tag. Oh, Grand Blue. Let's go. Guilty Gear. Okay. I'm coming back. World's Best Leo. So uh, both Blaze, Blaze Blue, Blue yeah. and Tag Battle, huh? Yeah, yeah. Central Fiction, which is great because Central Fiction doesn't have too many events now. A lot of people move to Tag Battle, so that's really exciting. And Unist as well, yeah. huh? Undernight Ember. Interesting. So this is this is uh, all the anime games that you really want to see right now. So this should be good. The connection, at least in Japan, amongst each other is is very good. So you can get a lot of high level play. They say mo mm -hmm. more details will be uh, yeah. coming soon. So nice. It's this year. So looking forward to that. And now in America, the American version, right? yeah, America's just going to have two games here. So uh, Blaze Blue Cross Tag and then Grand Blue uh, Versus here. Supported by, oh, TSB, look at that. Level Up, Esports Stadium, Low Kick, Exceed Games, and Marvelous there. Yep. Cool. So all you guys in the States, I know, uh, very tragic stuff for Grand Blue. You know, I like this game a lot. I play it, but it came out during Corona. So it never yeah. really had a chance for offline events. But the people that have been sticking with it since the start, they've been asking for, let's get some big events. Well, here you go. Here you go. Yeah. We can see. Next uh, slide. What? Whoa, that's awesome. Just, just a fan art of all the different games. Damn. That's, that's pretty tight. Sick, yeah. <laughs> that, that's a real man. That's awesome. Yeah, the devs are all hyped too. I'm Team Blue. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely on Team Blue. I'm, I'm Team Blue, man. I'm Team Blue. <laughs> they got Persona though, unfortunately. This is uh, BB Tag. Man, I got hyped for it. I was like, come on, let's see some Persona, but that's BB Tag representation right there. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you said it's on the homepage yeah, and you go check go it out? download it, make a wallpaper or whatever. That's beautiful, man. That's my girl in the back, S, the one with the sword. Mm -hmm. About October is when to look out for the tournament, right? Yeah, yeah, for the details there. Great. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. So the, the winners of uh, the, Grand Blue and BB Tag, the America Japan ones. And the yeah. America. So they next put spring, them together. Yeah, yeah, next spring there'll be a showdown. Uh, so that's something you, you, if you win, you got something to look forward to in the future there. Mm -hmm. Strive announcement. Here we go. New, New info. Here we go. He's got it. <laughs>
right? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Two it's characters. gorilla season, baby. It's gorilla season. Two characters. Leo White Fang, that is my boy. I saw everyone on Twitter like, please no Leo, please no Leo. He's back, baby. We're going to be botting everybody online. And then this is the mysterious time. We've got a name reveal as well. New character, right? Yeah, Nagori Yuki. So Nagori Yuki. They showed him off the very, very, very first trailer of Guilty Gear. And then there's been no new information since then. So finally, we got him. We got uh, some playable uh, footage. It looks like he's got two different modes or something, too. Was that the, uh, when Ozawa? Nagori Yuki. Yay. Ozawa-san is um, touching on it at the moment as well. Yeah. They finally gave his... Yeah. They're saying we didn't we didn't have his name or details, so finally he's got an official name here. Leo, how did they pick Leo? I thought Leo was gonna be like three years down the line. They put him out right on the start. Maybe they saw your yeah, saving guilty gear tweet. Yeah, he, he listen to me. Thank you, thank you. I like his new redesign. All the all the redesigns are they look a little bit older, yeah. right? A little more mature here. Nice touch there, yeah. right? Yeah, and then down there they announced uh, PlayStation 5, so I still don't know any details on that, but this is confirmed on PS5. The game looks so beautiful, I'm sure it'll look even better on PS5. Wow. Yeah. There's an arcade release too, they, they down, announced down there, so... Just hurry up, hurry up and release, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so next, uh, spring. Yeah, it was supposed to be this fall, but they announced they're pushing it back until next uh, spring. But that's Arc System Works yeah. Spring, so maybe it really is spring. You know? It's not tech in spring, which would be, what, winter or something mm -hmm. like that? Yeah, yeah, something like that. They said the next announcement's going to be in August, too, right? So. Or not, really? uh, October, October right? sorry, yeah, yeah, sorry, October. October. They said uh, new information, but not just that. There's, I think the one in October is going to be even bigger. So they said there's going to be a lot more stuff in there. So look forward to that. <laughs> cool, dude. I, I, as soon as it's over, I'm going home. I'm going home. I'm going to rewatch that trailer like 20 times. Got to break it down. I want to see everyone. I want to see everybody on Twitter. But I think he's going to try. Wow. He's just asking <laughs> who's the... Who's the hardest one to work with? Yeah, the other publishers. <laughs> he said if it just yeah. popped out, it would have yeah. been so entertaining. <laughs> he's trying to yeah. trick him, but it didn't work. Yes is proposing who's, like who's, the, who's the, easiest. the easiest to work with partner. That's or. another d difficult question for Japanese people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Harada, <laughs> Harada is too westernized, you know? He spent too much time overseas. Yeah, I think so. So that's all we have planned at the moment, right? But yeah, this is uh, just the first time, you know, it was kind of last minute planning too, right? So it's amazing that it came together and everything. Guys, if you like it, please let them know online. Uh, we want to see more, we can get more topics, different discussions for the next time. It'd be cool to do it again. Mm -hmm. You get to see me more of Tiuna and myself too, yeah. if that happens. But let's see. Our special skills for J Japan, right? There we go. So yeah, so Fuhi now is signing off. So this is going to be the end of the first one. I had a great time. We had a lot of cool uh, uh, reveals and announcements. We had a nice behind-the-scenes talk. Yeah, you never get to see the insight from all these different people in the same mm -hmm. room. I mean, each might have their own yeah. Comic-Con panel or whatever, but yeah. talking to each other about mm -hmm. this is probably yeah. the first time I've ever seen it. And you know, we can't have announcements all the time, but they can always talk. So I would like to see this more as yep. long as you know more time to discuss and maybe some different topics and things like that but keep in mind yeah. each one of these dudes is super high up yeah, in their yeah. respective oh. companies right so i hate to think of all the meetings and other mm -hmm. stuff they have to do every yeah. day waving with mori there all right guys so they're having every person just say their kind of their farewells and their thank yous right so ozawa said just thank you very much mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. talking about ps4 and steam updates mm -hmm. so already started if you have the time please yeah. check it out and uh, he believes that the online experience should be better mm -hmm. But any feedback you might have, he would love to hear it yeah. on Twitter. Again, if you guys are part of that rollback wagon, please follow Fighting X Layer. Give them their feedback, their testing with everybody and taking data from around the world to try and uh, develop their system. And he enjoyed the stream and hopes that mm -hmm. it'll happen again. <laughs> so maybe you should buy some yeah. sunglasses. He's like, man, maybe I should get some sunglasses too. He's like, I, I thought maybe I want to join the sunglass team. They're saying that, like, yeah. you could talk. But, so, but it doesn't matter. People can't yeah. see where your eyes are. Right. Like, he's, really, he, he's hyping up sunglasses. He's probably sleeping, right? Yeah. He's mastered sleeping. He's not getting caught. Sunglasses are great. Like, nobody can tell where you're looking during a meeting and stuff.
<笑>そ,うそうです<笑>、はい、スタッフがねそれでは、えー、続きまして、はい、SNK 様よりまずお題をお願いしますスタッフがですね本日は、えー、この中に、えー、参加させていただいてありがとうございます、yeah, right. Thank you for letting us participate in this and everything8 月3日にですねあのコースミーが無料コンテンツでやっていきます。で、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、この格ゲー連合会、えー、開いていただいて本当にありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。はい、ありがとうございます。また、えー、よろしくお願いいたします。ありがとうございました。Thank you very much. This was started by Bandai, right? Bandai, so, so Bandai is a different company. You got to do it. Bandai Namco. You got a new weekly show. You got to start. ナケヤマさん、also saying he had a very good time and、uh, he wishes that we could continue and even maybe have some kind of tournament in the future. Two or three, and yeah, that'd be cool if they had a, like a, a developer game tournament or something. That would be cool.、Yeah. Next, we got Shinbori san.、Uh -huh. Thank you all for tuning in today. デッドライブ6今休止中なのにもかかわらずあの呼んでいただいて<笑><笑>ありがとうございます。真っ先に来る。And、uh, even though DOA <笑> is kind of、uh, on, on a break right now. On a break. Yeah. Thank you for calling us <笑> to this、uh, opportunity. 皆さんにプレイしていただいているっていう現状もありますし、まあこうやって呼んでいただいて、まあこの格闘ゲーム作ってる仲間たちがこんなにもいるんだなっていうのを。But everyone's still playing the game and supporting it. で、あの、and to be in the same virtual room with all these developers that you know, uh, we feel like、uh, you know friends. And it's, it's a great feeling to be together. And I hope to be able to、uh, hang out with Harada more often.、Yeah. <laughs> It's like this, this kind of idea or being a part of this event here and hanging out with all these greats kind of motivated him to keep working hard because he wants to keep being involved with, with all the other producers out here. Mochei san from Koi Tecmo. Thank you for inviting me to the event. Thank you guys for watching as well until the very end. It's been、uh, two hours now. So, again, they mentioned earlier there's the free, the free、uh, version to play. So, it's like, everyone, please download the game. Please keep supporting it. Because they, right now, they said they're kind of taking a break of developing、yeah. and updating the game. But they, they still want to. You know, they still want to do more. And the more you guys、yeah. support it, it seems like more、uh, Shinbori san can, can work get, internally yeah, to, to do stuff. They can get the money in the budget. So, it's free. So, give it a try. Give it a download. Next from Yasuda e Sports. Thank you for turning in for two hours. いや本当にちょっと今回ですねあのー、連合会の職員としてですねあの皆様、he was kind of working on the project. Yeah, he was kind of like the leader of this, of gathering everybody together and organizing all this. 
ご協力いただいて、本当にありがとうございました。あの、Thank you for participating. 次,次もやりたいなっていうよりは、あの次やること前提で、He wants to do another one, but of course, the plan going in was obviously to continue to do this kind of thing. 次回以降あの先ほども大会もっていう話もありましたけど、There was even like an idea of maybe having a tournament. Yeah. What game? <laughs> That's the question. That would be kind of cool. To do a non fighting game.、Huh? So that's obviously one of the end goals that we all have. So we hope that you'll keep, continue to turn in,、uh, tune in when we do it again.、Yeah. It's、uh, quite difficult to get everyone together like、yeah. this. But、uh, thank you all for, for helping out. Yeah, this is Saturday, Saturday morning. Good job, yeah, Yasta. Everyone got up at like 7, 7, get ready, and then we were here yesterday for rehearsal. So, you know, these guys are just out here doing it. So nice. Is it Okobusan? Mm-hmm. Oh, he's going to talk smack. h i r a d a brought everyone together, but there was a comment t h a s k e d if he talked to Sega. h i r a d a s like,、mm, yeah. is I, I can't hear you, but yeah. Harada, my internet connection、yeah. is a bit、uh, spotty at、yeah. the moment. h i r a d a you said you talked to every company, didn't you? He's like, Did you talk to Sega? He's like, Huh? Huh? Who? He certainly has been on very strange yeah, before, etc. But、uh, mm-hmm. it seems like、uh, the foreign audience is quite large for this stream.、Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he was、uh, encouraged by the comments and the support from you guys. He has a lot of viewership of、yeah. all of the、uh, different platforms here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so right, he's saying again, just reiterating that it's like this is not just, not just、uh, in Japan, but everyone around the world is watching. So, this is probably a really good chance right now because of Corona. You know, there's not a lot of offline events. So, maybe we can shift to this kind of online discussion. And it's another person that says he wants to do it again. Man, they all said they want to do it again. Of course, Harada's last. <laughs> Fingers crossed he doesn't say anything like,、uh, that turns into a problem. He said, I'm really good friends with Sega. I could call them if I wanted, but. It's true. He used to go drink at the Fortune of Fighter Guys like, all the time before the COVID thing, right? He's saying, like, everyone's extremely busy. Yeah. And to prepare all the materials and info、mm-hmm. and everything. And kind of the last minute, you know,、yeah. because all the plans fell through and we had to kind of pivot. And there's a lot of risk with、mm-hmm. something you haven't done before. Yeah, we had a lot of problems last night. Thank God everything worked out <laughs> today. But when、uh, Ben and Emiko is doing it, maybe it's easier for everyone to not worry about the potholes so much because it's our responsibility.、Yeah. <laughs> the, the line group、yeah. that we have for this,、uh, all the publishers, just to see everyone in that group, right? It's really good. That's、yeah. kind of like a, a nice side, side product、mm-hmm. of this as well. They're all you know, different companies talking, not just on the, the stream, but outside too. Hopefully, they can, you know, like Karada was saying earlier about sharing you know, data and tech and stuff. Hopefully, we can see more collaboration with these guys. And even with the,、uh, mm-hmm. the viewers, you know, what、mm-hmm. you'd like to see from、uh, you know, future ones.、Mm-hmm. But you know, there's a lot of thought that goes into the time zone、mm-hmm. as well, and even languages, yeah, right? Yeah, language. So there's a lot of hurdles here.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he said, we want to keep going and not just, let's try and figure out what we can do. So, not just a talk show like this, but they really want to run a tournament. There's got to be a punishment, though, right? There's got to be some sort of b o x i n g game. h i r a d a s got to shave his head if he loses or something. I don't know. Oh, they said they maybe, maybe. I don't they're, think they're talking about the devs. They're talking about like. Just a, a regular. You know, Capcom、mm-hmm. has their pro tour. We have our TWT,、mm-hmm. but maybe this would be kind of cool to have something together, right? They still don't have any ideas, but let's, let's work together and figure something out. Just saying it was a really you know,、uh, short timeline on、yeah. trying to, to get this、uh, stream together. 
So we realized that maybe the viewers were expecting some things yeah. that maybe they didn't get, but uh, we feel it's a good start. So if you just uh, tell us what you would like to see in the future, and maybe that'll lead to uh, more uh, impactful things. Mm -hmm. So it kind of wants to grow this thing yeah. together. Is basically what we're more, trying to say. If more people will keep, you know, keep giving feedback. We want more. We want more. Keep growing. Keep growing. And we'll try from the next one. They want to try and do something even better. And he said, we know you're all stressed from this whole situation of COVID, etc. But uh, now we're all able to talk together mm -hmm. with uh, the various publishers. Maybe there's uh, a lot of cool things you can do. So we look forward to your support. Mm -hmm. So he's going to do his best to gather everybody's voices and opinions right here. I'm going to share them together with all you guys. But that's it for the first one. Thank you to the, all the producers and the devs who took place. Mm. Yeah. This is something that you can see online, this whole, uh, all the publishers getting together to share their announcements, etc. It's very exciting. I just hope people don't expect it every time, right? Yeah. If we do it from, from here on, it's like, yeah. So, right, just saying there's a lot of announcements today, not just not just for, like, you know, updates, but there's a lot of online tournaments, too. So, you know, because right now it's difficult to have offline events uh, in this environment. So they're kind of moving on to online. So all you guys watching, let's all support online tournaments and stuff. More <laughs> sun still waving. <laughs> but, yeah, it looks like that's going to be the end of the first one. We'll see you in the Thank next one. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Juna. Yeah, thank you. Good job. See you guys on Twitter. Bye-bye.